all. Test, 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 test. Looks good. I'm setting out stream announcements and we're diving in. Uh... Um, do, 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 do. that's all good. Uh, so we have a really good table. Marishka and Daniel are both like pretty much where I'm rated at the moment. Uh, Euphonia Dragon's probably a wild card. Uh, yeah, so we have a wild card at the table, which is a little unfortunate when we have. Wow, and I have the worst seat then. I'm fourth seat, and the wild card is right after me. So that's really unfortunate uh but we do open mason half timbered house uh this pack is pretty nutty there's a lot of good things but i think mason hoping for like conservator interior decorator to come back is okay and just go on big house but uh the loom probably goes lantern house probably goes carrot museum might go but we might wheel like turn rest plow or something um but yeah, this is this is an unfortunate distribution here. Uh, Marushka is very good in his second seat and sitting after the weak player. All of that seems promising. Um, pet lover and harpooner can be okay on big families if you get to grow fast, but I don't know if I take it here. I'm a pretty big fan of winter caretaker and I passed the carrot museum. It can be hard to do stuff with Winter Caretaker early, but uh, Brushwood Collector and Harpooner are kind of nice to see because it means there could be extra read in the game, which is good because I do need a lot of read for Mason Half Timbered House strats. Um, I also think I like just Butter Churn here. Uh, Truffle Slicer can work, but I don't have a lot of food, and I've I've been souring. It's hard to have like super good truffle games. Butter Churn is often just a wood and some food, and then yeah, I think Winter Caretaker just helps with crops. I don't see. I mean, I guess Pet Lover would also. Well, nah, this is fine. Pet Lover might be okay here though, um, because my food is not at all solved yet. Okay, uh, another pack here. So, layabout can be nice on a bigger family. Uh, adoptive is hard without really strong food. I'm really tempted by Animal Dealer, though. I'm a pretty big fan of Animal Dealer for bigger family strats. It also combos nicely with even just Butter Churn. You get breeding pairs a little easier. Like, I'm a fairly big fan of just get a hearth and an Animal Dealer. Go ahead. Uh, Woodcart can be quite strong. Field Fences is also quite strong, but it's not clear to me how much I'm plowing this game. Especially with Winter Caretaker, you don't need that many fields to still get pretty good crop score. So it's possible that this game is... Like, I'm filling a lot of my farm with house. I'm, I'm having at least a five-room house, five-room stone house because of Mason. And so woodcart lets me build like stables and fences and just focus and with animal dealer just focus on like really good animals really good pastures and stables crummy fields but i don't have field efficiency yet and maybe i get the turn rest plow back in which case i need more wood the only slight problem with woodcart is i need three early occupations and my occupations thus far are not necessarily say playing early I'm going to take the woodcart, though. I, I think woodcart can still just be very strong, and we'll try to find some good ox to play, like Mushroom Collector. Mushroom Collector with woodcart, like, you can do some early mushrooming, get to the woodcart. Mining Hammer is pretty good. Uh, if I wheel the Conservator, it's less good. But with Winter Caretaker, I don't need Small Greenhouse. Ravenous Hunger is kind of hilarious if the Pet Lover comes back, but... 
It's such a bad card. I don't need it. Bottles is hard on a big family. I'm not a huge fan. With a wood cart, wildlife reserve is not absolute trash, actually. But mining hammer is just better than, right? Like, I mean, kind of, it's, it's pretty close. But mining hammer is better for other players. I'll take that. I do have a lot of wood cost on my miners thus far too, but that's where wood cart can really help. I can try to play like mushroom collector fairly early, do some mushrooming, maybe play an early winter caretaker, especially if the carrot museum comes back. Not that I really need carrot museum here because I already have a ton of wood. This game should be very wood rich, uh, is my guess. Um, also this pack, I just noticed that this pattern maker also could be pretty good in a wood rich game for somebody. Market crier could mean that this gets played and somebody's going to throw us some extra grain, which is perfect for winter caretaker. Winter caretaker only gives me one grain. If I get another card that throws me a grain or two, that could be nice. Uh, the conservator did not come back, but the loom and the carrot museum did. Wowzers. The Loom came back around here, though. Loom plus Butter Churn plus Animal Dealer seems like it's got to be the play. And uh, Loom's wood cost doesn't scare me as much with wood cart. Right? That's just really... That's, that's, I think it's too good to ignore. Um, here, are the occupation's a little unfortunate. We might play Building Tycoon here. I'm not a big fan of building Tycoon normally, but I don't have great ox to be pushing out the wood cart, but I think I want the wood cart. The building Tycoon is slightly helpful in that it saves me build actions. Although I guess I eventually want to build stables probably on an action, but... And I don't... I, building Tycoon really just saves me two build actions, but it counts as an ox. And it counting as an awk is pretty freaking important, I think, for this wood cart plan because I I need cards to play that do things early if I'm actually gonna get this wood cart working. I don't really think I need the food from Interior Decorator. I think Mushroom Collector plus Animal Dealer is like really great feeding this game, actually. Mushroom Collector tends to work really well through like stages one, two, and even into stage three. And then it really, like, you just can't take enough wood actions to feed your family, but then that's where Animal Dealer will work great, as long as I get a hearth or a fireplace. Um, Pig Breeder is always okay-ish, but I need more early game-ish ox, so let's, let's try to run Building Tycoon. I don't normally do this, but Building Tycoon gives you some funky stuff happening. Um... Cube cutter could be playable this game for a couple of points because uh, I should have so a ton of wood and I probably can have extra food. Hide farmer is also okay in that it allows you to like, it will allow me to fence tight, but I'm not worried about fencing tight. I should have plenty of wood, right? Like I don't need to fence small and I already have five rooms. So I just don't think I need hide farmer. Pastor is... Pastor is kind of interesting here uh, with Building Tycoon. Assuming everybody else is going to build, um, as soon as they build, then Building Tycoon triggers. So I would like I could wait and get Pastor and then immediately build off of that player building. I don't. Th the problem is we're playing with a very weak player, and so I have no idea if they're actually going to build a room or not. Um, so I think I'm going to take Cube Cutter, actually. And maybe we do something weird. I, I, like, never try to play Cube Cutter early, but I wonder if this is a hand with Mushroom Collector. Am I supposed to play an early Cube Cutter and rush out Woodcart and claim that having, like, six bonus points off Cube Cutter is worth it? Uh, Basket is kind of a hilarious extra food on top of Mushroom plus Woodcart, but I think it's extremely excessive, and this hand still has read issues. I didn't get the Brushwood Collector. Dwelling Mound, I'm not a fan of, although I'm not planning to plow much this game, but I guess this is just passing stable. Um, 
I guess between Mining Hammer and Stable, it means that really I never have to build Stables, because I'll just be short one Stable. I really kind of need a Joinery with this hand. Um, stable Hand is not playable. Wall Builder is a dumb combo with Building Tycoon, right? Or does it work? Each time you build at least one room. Yeah, so Wall Builder, Building Tycoon, Mason is a combo. I don't think it's what I actually play. This Hand of Occupations is pretty iffy, but we're going to make it something. Major here is incredible, though. Major is great. We can put five rooms in our house, and we can make eight spaces and just aim for two plows this game. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have stables here, so we'll have, yeah, a big pasture for sheep, and then pastures that can hold four sheep, or four boar, four cow. Um, yeah. You've never seen Wall Builder played? I don't think I'm actually going to play it. I'm just saying I think this is a game where it technically could be played. I think I'm, I'm definitely playing Mushroom Collector first. And then I think I'm actually going to be trying to push out Building Tycoon, Animal Dealer, Woodcart. Maybe Winter Caretaker instead, but I can play Winter Caretaker later in the game. I think I want to rush out a wood cart. I do want to also get butter tur like my miners all cost wood, so like my wood cart here looks quite good. I want to build two wood rooms. I want fifteen fences. I want a bunch of wood for these miners. I might want wood for a joinery. I have mushroom. Four seed is sad for a wood cart. Oh yeah, absolutely. Look, I'm sad about everything this game. The weak player is in seat one. Although I'm very likely to get occupation or redstone food now, so that's incredible. The fact, I'm guessing this is Lantern House, though. They're very likely to re-up starting player with Lantern House, so that part sucks. Small-scale farmer from Daniel means that there's even more wood in the game, but that's fine. I play Mushroom Collector here. Um, yeah, I'm really sad, actually. This is going to be this is gonna be the Lantern House. Teal's going to re-up start player with Lantern House here, is my guess. That's probably why they're taking three wood. Um, so yeah, staying constantly fourth seat is a bummer, but getting the mushroom collector out here is good enough. Uh, I will take two clay or two wood on the wheel from allowed. I'm guessing I won't be, but maybe I will. Um, and otherwise I'll plow. I, I don't need to plow early because I'm only planning for two fields this game, but if I have to, I will. Um, it's better than day labor. When, once you play Mushroom Collector, Teal's going to SP a ton, I would guess. Oh, but it's not the Lantern House. Okay, that's a lot. That helps a lot. But Teal probably still going to start player a lot. Like, I'm probably going to lose this game. This like, I kind of want to contest Arena just because like, it's, it sort of feels like the thing to do or whatever. But it's just, yeah, like, this This is part of what sucks about Force Seat. Uh, plowing really does not advance my game in ways I care much about. But I... I, 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 there's no good other action there, so this is just what I have to do, but, um, that's, yeah, it's unfortunate. I'd love to awk here, uh, I'd love to get a wood action on the wheel. I don't really want a mushroom collector. Two reed is a pretty good action for me, too. I need a lot of reed, and I don't have reed. Uh, we get cattle feeder, corn scoop, yeah, Teal's just playing very weak cards. Marushka's getting all the reedstone foods, which is great. Um, I'm happy to awk or two read here. Okay, it's two read. Wood collector. Wow, there's so much wood in this game. So much wood in this game. Uh, which makes the two read a little better. Getting the read early is good. Uh, hopefully I can get a two wood plus, or take a wood plus food action on the wheel. Um, with mushroom collector here. Uh, Marushka starting. That's nice. Marushka has the lantern house. Okay. Marushka getting reedstone food, two wood, reedstone food, lantern house is pretty dreamy. Pretty dreamy for Marushka. That looks scary. Especially if Marushka has something like a begging student. This game's probably like basically already over. <laughs> I, I I hate to say that, but just with the based on how poor like based on Teal's rating and the fact that Teal is setting up stage one grain seeds combos. Does not bode well for this being a good competitive game, but we'll see. Uh, got a mushroom collect. Played mushroom collector. Got to use it. Got to get some food here so we can keep awking. It's late sheep. That makes the animal dealer a bit stronger. It also makes the mushroom collector a bit stronger. There's a bit more food pressure in the game, so I like all of that. 
so much wood in this game. Oh my god. We have a bonehead, a small scale farmer, a wood collector, and I'm gonna be playing a wood cart. There's so much wood. Wow. And that's uh that's an interesting action there. Three food. Uh maybe it's a brook, but or it's just an admittance that yeah, you need that food action. Um I think Aking here is probably the right play for me. I need to keep Aking. I mean, four clay plus hearth is like mildly tempting, but I really don't need food at the moment. I need to get towards this wood cart. So am I actually playing building tycoon or am I just playing animal dealer or am I playing this early cube cutter? No, I'm not playing the cube cutter. Let's get the building tycoon down. Let's, let's, let's do this nonsense, right? Screw it. We're going to run Building Tycoon in this game and hope it works out. It's a little awkward because we don't have room parts yet. But we need, we need to get our ox going. Four clay for teal is likely a hearth. And then they're going to use their combo, which is fine. Marushka is ready to build and I can't do a thing about it, which is fine. Daniel starts. That's fine. Turn rest plow early. Okay. So this almost this is like delayed big country, right? This is the laid big country, and we're going to start plowing now? I don't know. Um, I guess I mushroom collect here and leave multiple wood actions. Oh, wow, reedstone food is still there, too. Uh, but I need to... I should push toward room parts for now. Um, yeah, next round is probably take wood and play another oc. Like, do I play animal dealer? I probably play animal dealer. I think Animal Dealer is going to be very good this game with Butter Churn Loom and eventually needing food. Hey, Myrmidon. Good morning. So we try... Yeah, next round is Take Wood, Ock. And then the round after is Take Wood, Start Player. Something like that. We want to get the wood cart played soonish. This is just hearth, presumably, and then they're going to do cattle feeding things. Yep. So it might be hard for me to get a hearth this game. That part's a little awkward. Um, you have to pay attention to that pressure, too, which means playing animal dealer is a little more questionable if I'm not getting a hearth, but I can always get a fireplace. Animal dealer work is. Yeah, Reedstone food not taken around three is pretty wild. Uh, Daniel just takes more food. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to mushroom collect this space. Uh, mushroom collecting that space repeatedly is pretty excellent. Um, still can't build a room here, so that part's a little sad, but I should be able to get an awk on the wheel here. Uh, Marushka could just build the first room, but Marushka was always in position to do that, and then, yeah, my I guess my building tycoon's a little slow. It doesn't look like Daniel's going to build either. This building tycoon actually could blow up in my face. Teal is not ready to build either. Uh, I mean, Teal should take two read and be able to build soon. But if Teal doesn't know to push for rooms, it looks like Daniel might not be building rooms. Wow, and Teal is awking here. Uh, okay. I mean, they're going to have to take grain seeds on the wheel, but... Could we have skipped the mushrooms? We could have skipped the mushrooms. It might have been correct there to skip mushrooms. If Gray doesn't build, if Gray doesn't build, I just take wood. I agree. If Gray, if if Marushka chooses not to build, I 100% take wood. But I would be pretty shocked if Marushka doesn't build. Marushka is very strong player, and I'm guessing they're gonna scuff my building tycoon by building here. It's very, it would be very correct of them to do that. I think. But yeah, I definitely will just take wood. But Gray, Gray should build. Gray is a very good player, so I'm assuming Gray will build. Wow, pig breeder. Um, okay. Uh, Teal is feeding off of pig breeder, I guess, rather than taking grain. I don't know. It's very bad. And Gray yeah, snaps off the build, exactly as expected, punishing me. This is, Again, this is just a game of watching Teal take really bad actions and watching how they're going to mess up the game or f make the game flow weird. Hopefully Daniel takes two read here. Daniel could build soon too, although again his small scale farmer turn rest plow suggests I don't know what it suggests. He also took more food. I don't know why he wants so much food. He has a grocer. I, like I don't I don't know. He does take two reeds, so he's gonna be ready to build. So I guess I'm supposed to just take more wood, and the wood cart can come out just a little bit later here. Um 
I mean, I'm just going to keep taking mushrooms. Taking mushrooms is important for my game. Uh, I might be letting Marushka start player into six wood here, because Teal, who knows what Teal's actually going to do here. Teal should take three wood, I guess. I don't, or th Teal maybe should actually take Reedstone food. I, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, whatever. This this game's okay thus far. Uh, we're not in a terrible spot. The half timbered house mason stuff is still great. We do need to start taking reedstone foods for that. We're getting this wood cart online maybe a little later than I'd like, but it should still be quite strong. Our hand just has so many wood cost cards. But I, I yeah, I think I think there's still hope for this game for me. Um I think I think major plus loom plus these stables and a half timbered house, like I can have a really good animal game, a really good big house game. Maybe that's enough. I mean Marushka has a big lantern house, like there this could be a lot of victory point ceiling type game, but I think I can be competitive in that. Teal's gonna start player. Okay. That's a bummer. Going last next round is not ideal by any means, but oh, they undo that. Nope, they're still gonna do it. Okay. Hunting trophy. They're just gonna eat their boar now, and they have a hunting trophy down already at least. Sure. Sure you do, Teal. Sure you do. Okay. Whatever. Um. Yeah. There's gonna be. Well. Yeah. And Rushka is gonna leave the big wood stack on the board. Just keep taking Reedstone foods early. Looks good. Um, I guess I was supposed to Mushroom Forest, but if we could get five clay next round, expensive hearth. Yeah, oh, and growth flips. Wow, growth flips. Okay. Well, Marushka has to grow is kind of the funny thing. If Marushka doesn't grow, Daniel could build. Uh, not that he probably will, but if Daniel builds, hilariously, I get growth. And Marushka doesn't grow. Come on, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. Let the building tycoon nonsense happen. Do it, Daniel. Yes! Let the building tycoon nonsense happen. Hand us first growth. Do it. Don't give it to Marushka. Give it to me. Give it to me, buddy. Give it to me. Yes! All right, team. That's the break we're looking for. That is the break we're looking for. Hell yeah. All right. Building tycoon. Woohoohoo! Building Tycoon worked, team! Uh, we'll get the butter churn out of the way. Uh, we'll get, we'll get, uh, onto the wood cart shortly. Um, woo! That was lucky. That was lucky. <laughs> I, to be fair, I think it's correct for Daniel. Looking at Marushka's position versus mine, I 100% agree with Daniel's decision to give me growth. Um, Marushka, I think, is in a much better position with all that early stone, sitting after the weak player. I would absolutely, in Daniel's position, have done the same thing. But I'm sure Marushka is, like, a little annoyed. But to be fair, I said Marushka had to grow first, and Marushka chose to play adoptive parents. Like, if Marushka just grows and then hopefully gets adoptive parents, it's fine. The switch from frustrated whatever to super engaged? Oh, yeah. I, I, look, I, yeah. I, Gray, Gray just forgot about, uh, Gray forgot about, uh, Gray forgot about building tycoon, presumably, which things you think it's bad for him. He grows later. He's always growing later. What, what, how do you think he's supposed to grow sooner? I don't think it's bad for him at all. Building Tycoon really messes with Daniel here, too. If Daniel start players, I can just build and get the next growth. If Daniel waits to build, I always insta-build and then can start player for growth. Like, I'm always growing in front of Daniel also. Like, Daniel building forces Marushka to start player now, and then Daniel gets to start player later. But, like, it, Daniel's always growing third here because of Building Tycoon. It's... It's, like, really awkward for him to get around it. Now, I guess Daniel could have forced me to... Daniel could have tried start playing and forcing me to just build instead of building Tycoon build. But... 
I still probably just do that to him and we're both worse off. Like, I, I, think, it's, I think it was a reasonable choice. But uh, anyhow, five clay on the wheel here is great. Uh, five clay does get me a long-term hearth. No, don't start player for Marushka. Oh, I'm still so frustrated about... Yeah, Marushka's in such a good seat this game. Like, don't start player here, freaking... Oh my god, freaking racking. And Marushka gets the five clay now, instead of having to start. Like, it's gifts like these that, yeah, playing with weak players is just so frustrating. Like, you can't be doing this sh shit. <laughs> Ha oh, sorry. Okay, Daniel plows, it's fine. Uh I can just take three wood, but I probably was supposed to just take four clay. I'm gonna be really sad this game if I don't take clay. Uh, and I could get pretty clay screwed here because if I don't take clay, I'm really uncertain that I get it's really uncertain that I get enough clay. Uh I don't love leaving five wood, but I, I have first growth here at least. Um but yeah, I'm frustrated. I'm very frustrated about Teal's star player in there, though. Teal, Teal started way too... Teal's, Teal's played such an ineffective game. He started way too much. He's taken way too many bad actions, and it's still giving Marushka a lot of value, but that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's what I gotta tell myself. Only four more minors for Teal? Yeah, I mean... It, again, starting is such a weird thing. Like... I don't care if he starts some rounds. It really doesn't bother me a ton, a ton if he starts some rounds. But you can't start during the growth fight. You can't... If you're start playing and not taking the best action on the board, you really shouldn't be starting, probably. Because you're handing so much value to the player after you. But Teal takes all the wood, at least. That's fine. Um, Marushka grows, obviously. Daniel... Doesn't have to start, but maybe will. Potter ceramics for Marushka. I was wondering how he's going to feed, but that five clay is so... Wow, what a huge... What a huge boost for Marushka, Marushka to get that five clay. Like, so kind, but that happens. Uh, we see a scythe worker. That's fine. Um, I probably just Ock here. I really want to get Ox out. Um, I mean, I guess more Reed is good, too. Uh... But I also want to take Reedstone Foods. I, I really need to get another Ock out. I want three Ox. So I think I'm going to get the Animal Dealer going soon. Uh, hey, Zizak. We're, we're running weird things and got slightly gifted by building Tycoon shenanigans. But we're also watching Teal do really bad things. And Marushka getting very benefited from them. And uh, it's frustrating. Very frustrating. Uh, anyhow, this round is probably just take three wood and then possibly start player. Uh, finally get that wood cart going. Uh, yeah, three wood start player is okay. Uh, three wood reedstone food is fine. Uh, our food's a little scuffed without abusing some mushrooms. So we gotta be careful about that. And then we do gotta get a hearth going. Uh... But we're still in a pretty good spot. Marushka getting the clay oven here is annoying. And he still has adoptive. Wow, and he doesn't even build the clay oven yet. Uh, okay, so I don't get reedstone food back. I guess I just take two reed again, probably. Or I just take wood plus wood this round. Or I just take wood and star player. Wow, Scythe Worker selling a single grade. That's interesting. Um, Marushka should clay oven. So if I take three wood here, I probably can start player into an absurd wood pile. I'm going to be behind on reed then, potentially, to a dangerous amount. But there's a lot of game left. I can get more reed later, right? Yeah, I take three wood and don't mushroom it. Marushka has well parts. Yeah, Marushka has well parts. I mean, Marushka has a very strong game. Um, Marushka's been sitting. Wow, it is well instead of clay oven. That's a little risky. I guess there's enough food, but you kind of have to major minor first action now. Like, but whatever. I also need food, so whatever. Uh, 
this three read would be very good for me on the wheel if I'm so blessed. Um, we'll see if I'm so blessed, but Marushka almost has to clay oven first action here. Teal should probably take the three read. Um, if Teal doesn't take three read, I, or like I'm taking a read action regardless. I take readstone food or read. Teal does. Teal has brushwood. This is gonna be brushwood collector, which is great. Somebody adding more read to the game via brushwood collector. I'm a huge fan of. Yep, and it is. Okay, that's fine. Teal can finally double build, whatever. Teal, uh, congrats. Oh, Teal's going to try to double build. And if I take three read here, I can actually building tycoon. Marushka plays charcoal before clay oven in. Uh, do I just fireplace here? Like, for real, what happens if I fireplace? How is Marushka getting this greedy for the clay oven? I guess fireplace still will give Marushka food, and then they're going to take fishing? Daniel takes fishing. Okay, I put the clamps on. I, I put the clamps on. Well, Marushka can renovate. That's the problem, right? Well, wait, but he can't clay oven then. And if I take fireplace, I guess he can take four clay into renovate. Also, three reed is here. <sighs> three reed is here. If I take three reed, the slight problem is that Teal is probably going to build... And then I don't know if I can actually building tycoon off them, but I super want a building tycoon off them because it's a huge thing. But I need three food then, so I'm putting myself in dangerous positions. But Daniel has to grow. Marushka isn't going to take three food. At worst, I'm taking a voluntary beggar here. I mean, I got to take three read and see what happens, I guess. If if Teal builds, I almost have to build in Tycoon. It's just so strong, right? Yeah, I should get Traveling back. Okay, Teal's not even going to build. Okay, fine. That's that's fine. <laughs> that, that works. That's even... Well, is it even better? I guess I still might just travel here because the extra food temple is really... Imp well, no, Teal's out of actions. I always take an action before Teal, so I can always take wood before Teal. And then as soon as Teal builds, I grow anyhow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. Yeah, exactly. I take wood. I take wood over travel for sure. Yeah. Because I, I, I get to act before Teal again next round. Yeah, I agree, Zizek. I'm, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely doing that, yeah. The only, th th again, the thing that matters is I just really need a food for building Tycoon when Teal builds. Um, I, I want to make sure I can beat Teal to that because it's very good for me to be able to do so. But I still really do need a hearth at some point this game, by the way, team. Like, <laughs> uh, but we're, we'll get there. Uh, Daniel grows as expected with a farm store. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, definitely take this. Mushroom it. Uh, we really do need to figure out that hearth business soon. Actually, uh, this is awkward. There's going to be six clay potentially at the start of next round. I really want six clay, but I gotta, I gotta be ready to just build in tycoon. Oh, and Marushka's starting anyhow. Okay, Marushka has a small greenhouse. Cool. It's fine. Marushka actually gets to open wood next round and then can build again. So you pray to God Teal builds and then I can grow which is a dangerous thing to be betting my life on, but I'm probably going to do it. I'm probably going to bet my life on teal building, but... Oh God, maybe I'm supposed to just manual build and not risk it. Nah, I'll risk it. I'm a crazy son of a gun. Oh, duh, yeah, even if Marushka builds. Yeah, what am I thinking about? God, building Tycoon's fine. Even if Marushka builds, I don't I don't care. I, I yeah, duh, duh, duh. I, ah, building Tycoon. What a, what a card, people. What a card. I, I am sad to not be taking big resource stacks, but growing again is incredible here. Um, 
just growing again has to be good. I mean, I'm going to attempt to starve myself, so there's that. Um, but... I guess Mining Hammer gives me a food here. Teal start players. Well, this is frustrating again. This is a very dull... Like, they should be building... Uh, I hate playing with weak players that start player too much. Like this, how is this making you win? There's six clay on the board. There's three stone on the board. What, like, what are you doing? You're ravenous hungering. Like, what? How is how is that a good idea? It's so frustrating playing with weak players. Why do I play arena? Oh my god. <laughs> How is that star player? <laughs> Six clay goes, obvious, yeah. The three stone here is also really nice, but yeah, my food is my food is rough. But uh we'll get there. We'll get there hopefully. Um We have a lot of actions. I probably just travel here last action. Unless there's three stone. If there's three stone I might take it. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, but yeah, I, I have a lot of. I have a lot of weird stuff. Wow, conservator for teal. Is teal honestly renovated to stone next round? Like, what the hell? I, whatever, whatever. Teal is just a complete non-entity this game, and it's very obnoxious. Oh, it, it's a good joinery game for sure. There's so much wood. I have so much wood. I want the joinery very badly. That's always been on my list. But I, I only have so much. I, I'm trying to accelerate here. I'm up to four family members now. We can figure out the rest. Uh, the rest still involves like a hearth and using our animal dealer. It involves actually getting our food sorted. Uh, so there's some dangers. But three stone is just too tempting to me. Three stone is like really strong for my mason plans. Like I, I need to rush towards mason now is my thoughts. And I still need to hit half timbered house. And then I want a joinery. So that's a lot of stone. Mushroom and joinery feed. That's not going to last forever. It's not going to last forever. It's a really bad idea. Um. It will not work forever. I've 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 played enough games. There's no way that works long enough. I, I have too many actions. But yeah, the stone's gonna go to Marushka. So I take four food here. Uh, four food's good. Like four food's not great, but I think it's a good enough action for the moment. Or do I just take Greenstone food actually? Uh wait a sec. Is Greenstone food good enough? Greenstone food could put me in really awkward times later. I think it's best to just put the pressure off of me here. Um, I'm not thrilled about it, but hopefully Teal freaking builds. Marushka probably is going to snap off four clay for their potter ceramics. Wow, no, it's seriously going to be using Ravenous Hunger. Okay. I hate I hate playing with 100 rated players. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Does Daniel want the hearth? Maybe. I have no idea, to be fair. I, I don't know what's... I don't really know what's happening in this game. Uh, all I know is that Marushka is sitting in the magic seat. Marushka is a pet lover. Okay. That's a way to get some food. That's a that's going to accelerate food in the game. Daniel's starting. Cool. Thanks, Daniel. Straw thatched. Cool. Daniel's building. Excellent. Teal triple build with the stork's nest. I don't think there's a stork's nest in the game, and Teal's still an ox short. I mean, I, Teal is just a garbage. Teal's completely, an, again, like a non-player here. Teal doesn't know what they're doing, but... Uh, I'm one clay... Oh, I could take two clay here, team. I could take two clay, renovate R RSF, and hope he gets to grow again. Um, Daniel's gonna build. Daniel will build next action, because Daniel's a good player. And Daniel knows the building queue. So I think I think the answer is no. I think I just take two clay and run a hearth and then have one clay left for half timbered house this game. I as awkward as that is, I think that's what I do. Yeah, Daniel just builds again. Yeah, again, Daniel's a good player, so it's Daniel's not gonna let me do that. Last round. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess building another wood room would have been fine. But I, how am I supposed to? I, I can't predict this is going to happen. I, I can't know. I can't know that Daniel's going to SP jump. Like, I don't I didn't know there's a straw that's roof. Maybe I could have read that was coming, but I don't think so. Um, two clay, red o hearth. Two clay, red o hearth is tempting. It's very tempting. Uh, Marushka has to grow. Daniel could hearth, but Daniel needs food. Daniel can't hearth. I guess Daniel could eat raw crops. Oh, Daniel could hearth. Daniel might be hearthing. So I probably am supposed to just hearth. Yeah, maybe it's a Zach, but I need so much food. I like, I don't I th I th I don't think that works. It's so risky on the food the the line you're offering. I think this is just hearth. God, but Reno hearth is so much better. I guess I could take clay and Reno fireplace. I could live with a fireplace, right? Yeah. I can live with a fireplace. I, if I can live with a fireplace, do I just run out to the two clay fireplace? Wait a sec. Never mind. Let's make this easy on ourselves. I can just upgrade to the hearth. That's fine. If I'm thinking about a two clay action, I can just upgrade to the hearth. But there's a sheep stack that is just mine now. I, I can just get sheep here, and which actually gets loom and stuff going. I can get sheep and I have a stable. Like this is actually super good, right? Yeah, this is this is incredible actually. I could even fence. I could fence into sheep. I could fence seven into sheep, and then I have butter churn going. Yeah, actually, actually, fence seven into sheep looks incredible because I'll also get the boar. I'll get to take the boar first action next round. Well, unless Daniel Harse. No, Daniel's four and eighty. Wow. Okay. Um, that works. Yeah. Uh, Marushka can't reasonably sheep sweep here. He need Marushka needs food again. Yeah. Let's just fence seven into fence seven into take the sheep is really good. I guess I don't get butter churn stuff this harvest because I'm gonna have to eat eat a sheep or two sheep because I'm gonna pay for an extra yeah animal dealer. But this this looks really good. This looks really good. That truffle slicer should be my hand. I mean, I don't. I I it maybe should be. I could have drafted it earlier, but it's okay. Marushka just is so baking. I approve. I heavily approve. Uh, I think I get the pigs then to start next round, which is also incredible. I highly approve of getting the pigs. I approve of everything here, actually. This is, this is good. This is good. Uh, taking two stone next round is a pretty high priority. I still think I just want to play Manger this game, so I think I'm just not going for a lot of fields. I eventually should play Winter Caretaker. I want to work towards this mason room. Um, since Teal apparently has gone with the never grow line. Oh, did I not animal dealer? Wait a sec. Did I scuff that up? Or where did I get the extra food from? Wait a sec. I'm so confused. I actually... Oh, oh, duh! I got the extra food because I did... Of course I butter churned. I butter churned the food. Duh, duh, duh. I butter churned the food. Oh, you didn't know I had Mason. Yeah, that's why I wasn't worried about the fifth room here, Zizak. I have a Mason for a half-timbered house still. That's partly why I'm not pushing for, like, my, I'm pushing for the Mason room. Yeah, exactly. The churn. The churn gave me the food. That's like, that, this fencing line was so good. So good. And th we have a loom in our hands, so, like, we, we get to loom our way up to sheep. We get these boar breeding also. Like, this is, this is a great position. Um... I mean, is it going to be good enough? I don't know, but I'm not sad about having wood cart and all this shenanigans still going on at the moment. Um, I just need a lot of stone now, to be honest. I'm going to take the boar, and then I'm taking two stone, and then probably read stone food, and then if there's a wood stack left, I take it, but there's probably not going to be a wood stack left for me next turn, uh, but that's okay. Um, I can play winter caretaker. I can, I don't know what, but 
Um, yeah. Stone flips, that's great. I need more stone in the game. More stone. <laughs> I still, I still, I, I think I have to hit this, yeah, five, this five room half timbered house, I think is definitely a part of how we win the game. So, uh, Daniel takes wood, that makes sense. Other people have wood pressures, uh, which actually, if other people have wood pressures, am I supposed to pressure the wood here or should I just snap on i should well there's a pet lover in the game but i have an animal dealer maybe a pet abort isn't that important the plows are looking tight but again i don't care about plowing plows are not actually i'm not trying to plow i'm only trying to plow two fields this game and i'm gonna major i'm gonna fence big i i just don't want to fight fields this game i don't think maybe it's not the pigs maybe it is just attack the wood I just don't really need wood at the moment. I can I can wait on the wood, but making it hard for other people to get wood is maybe part of how I win. These guys are very wood tight because they've built so many rooms. Does Teal even take two pigs here? Is the other question. Like I I mean Teal's such a wild card. Let's let Teal be a wild card. Let's let Teal be a wild card and let's attack the wood. Yeah, exactly. Like, I can take pigs later, and it is is just as good. Exactly. Like, I, I, and I think I get the pigs here anyhow. Teal finally builds for whatever reason. Um, but exactly. Like, Animal Dealer allows me to get away with things here. Like, I can take animals later. Ah, Teal, Teal wanted to triple build. That's why Teal saved up their stuff. Okay, attacking the wood is the correct play then. The wood is so tight this game now because people have built too many rooms. Um, it's It's just too many rooms. Daniel has to grow here, in which case I might attack the wood again. Attacking the wood seems hilarious here at this table that has no wood. I really do need stone, uh, but I just hopefully nobody else needs two stone that bad. I, I think attacking the wood just makes everybody else's scoring also just really tough. Yeah, I agree, Zizak. The problem is, yeah, I agree. Weaker players are like, I want to build three rooms. I got to build them all at once because that's efficient. And it's an easy trap to fall into, right? A lot of Euro games reward efficiency, but Agricola is this beautiful fight between tempo and efficiency. Like, just getting more actions, even if those actions are less efficient, is better than having limited efficient actions. So... Anyhow, I take two stone. Oh, I don't get two stone, though. Okay, we get slightly punished. We get slightly punished. Uh, we we got to start taking stone, team. <laughs> we need stone. We need stone. But it's okay. Uh, I could just take pigs here, uh, and life is still grand. Uh, I can start player loom at some point soon, too, which is grand. Um... I still want to play Winter Caretaker. I can still think about Cube Cutter um, if I have time. I don't know if I have time for Cube Cutter is kind of the thing, but Cube Cutter is not bad. Um, Marushka Stone Oven time? No, Marushka Fireplace time with that. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the three pigs last action either, but I say sign me up. Uh, this fence seven thing is is grand. Everything is pretty grand. Uh, start player loom is incredible passive food. Loom plus butter churn here is like great. Marushka, yeah, animal dealer or not a pet lover is a sheep. That's fine. Daniel opens next round four wood. I open next round two stone or two cows. Do I just open next round two cows? I mean, the pet lover's going to hit the cows. I can take the cows later. I don't really care about cows. Cows are only cool because of butter churn, but it's fine. I don't need them. Attacking the wood is not as important to me this round. It probably is just two stone. It might even just be two stone joinery. Is it two stone joinery? Nobody else is building the joinery. Nobody else can justify joinery this game. Only I. So I take two stone... I play Winter Caretaker. I do need a field at some point, but I might just get like a plow so because Daniel can't take it. I probably just start player loom, right? Just start player loom and then play Winter Caretaker uh, is part of this round. 
because either I get plow so or I just get growth. Like, yeah, I have a I have a mason room I could eventually grow into, but uh, reedstone food is still good. I need one more reed this game for half timbered house, and then yeah, I mean I need two stone. So start player two stone, winter caretaker reedstone food, something like that's a pretty good line. Um, it's a pretty good line. I mean, there's this is an early, this board is pretty bad for how many actions are on it. Uh, all of the good players at the table are at four family members. And uh, this board is kind of gross. Marushka has enough food. Daniel is hungry. Yeah, so Daniel's hungry is the only thing. Daniel Daniel wants stone oven here very badly. That's why Daniel took two stone, actually. Yeah, Daniel is going to renovate stone oven. Yeah, that makes so much sense. So much sense. I, sh I should have noticed that. Yeah, and then Daniel has another clay coming in for another room. Daniel's building a fifth room off of clay supply and uh, straw thatched. So that's that's cool. That's very good for him. That makes sense. So I can attack the wood again. Interesting. Um, it's tempting to just attack the wood again, right? <sighs> Is attacking the wood better than loom? Charcoal burner has been legit this game. Yeah, lots of stuff got built. Marushka has had a good charcoal burner. Oh, attacking the wood is so fun. When am I ever going to see a four wood action again? I mean, I keep leaving them, but... Yeah, I agree, Zach. I mean, that's the thing. I can try to... I can start player spam a little this game, which is nice. But I need a lot of wood to keep doing all that. Screw it. I need more wood. Let's let's just take the wood. I can delay other things. I, I'm going to claim I can keep delaying the other stuff. I still need defense again. I still need to play loom and major. I don't even... I can rental the loom, potentially. Like, I don't... I agree. I, I don't even need the loom down that much. I don't really need to be start here. Daniel can't... Daniel has a uh, Daniel has a four and eight anyhow, but my miners are so good that yeah, starting is great. I agree. All four of these are very playable still. So, um, but I think I might just take two stone again here. I need this stone. Like if I keep getting stone blocked, I'm in trouble. Home brewer for Daniel. I also want to play ox, but those can come later. I'm not gonna start player yet. Maybe I'm supposed to, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just take good actions and then I'll I maybe I'm supposed to start. Starting is pretty strong though. I do if I start though, I really need to play Winter Caretaker. That's the awkward thing. Like if I start and I don't get to play Winter Caretaker, if Plow So flips, it's really kind of a problem. It's not a problem, it's just way less good. But I probably start player. Okay, Marushka's gonna start. Oh, okay, I let him get away. Yeah, I, I waited too long. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Reedstone food is good here. Uh, Reedstone food plus winter caretaker is fine by me. Um, yeah, Reedstone food plus winter caretaker is a fine line. Uh, I don't have the loom down yet, so but I need to eat one of each animal anyhow. I can't reno here, but I agree. Reno, reno would be totally fine, but renovate got taken first action this round. So I'm pretty sure that's not an option. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not an option, um, but that's okay. Rushka taking the read, get a BMW, that's fine. Uh, I need to fence again. Fencing this next round is probably correct. Um, fencing, like, what, Marushka might just open four wood, actually, in which case then I do take whatever flips. No, Marushka takes Plowso or Growth, though, right? But then Daniel gets four wood, so my opening this round might just be fencing. Um, finishing my fencing and making sure nobody else can fence yet when the animals are going to be absolutely stupid next round seems pretty strong actually fence blocking is probably my strongest way to make this table sad uh we eat a sheep and a boar because they both come back anyhow and then 
we get to buy a veg with Winter Caretaker. Um, we can renovate to a hearth. Uh, we could just take two stone and run joinery next round, potentially. We play our mason. Uh, we can take cows after fencing, actually. We probably get to take cows after fencing, unless Teal takes them, which they might, but... Fence into cows is actually stupidly good, too. Uh, we have a lot of miners to play, as we talked about, so start player in a bit soon is fine. Like, I still have a lot of really good actions, which is an upshot. Yeah, I have a lot of good things to do, which is which is is great. It's a great position to be in to have a lot of strong things to do. Uh, Marushka is going to grow. Daniel is going to take four wood. So then I think this is fence. Fencing has to be the right action here. Fencing is so strong. Yeah. Fencing is so strong. Finish finish the fencing. Nobody else gets to fence till next round. The animal pairs can be absolutely stupid. Other people can eat them if they want, but uh, Major will be good here in time. Actually, yeah, to be honest, maybe it's not joinery. I have I have the right resources for Lou, Major, and Half Timbered, and I might just never take more wood. I don't know if I have time to take more wood. I mean, maybe I do. We'll see. But joinery is not that big of a priority, so just renovating to the hearth is fine. Um, or even just renovating to the loom is fine, I guess. I, I probably don't need the hearth, right? What, what do I need the hearth for? The hearth's not that much food. Just renovate into the loom is fine. But I want the cows. Cows are great here. Teal might be taking veg into cows. That'd be a bit annoying. But if they want to ravenous hunger cows, whatever. No, they're going to ravenous hunger wood. Hilarious. Excellent. Not sure we have food to take more wood. You agree joinery is a distraction? Yeah, I agree. I think joinery is a distraction. Four sheep, not bad. That's true. Four sheep is actually... I want to take cows. But after I get cows, taking sheep might be correct. Take cows and then take sheep and go for a mega loom. That that is pretty hilariously good. Two stone gets taken, that's fine, but yeah, I, I gotta take stone eventually. But cows have to get taken here. This is too good. Oh, I don't have a food. Uh we can eat a boar. Whoops. We can eat a boar. Eat a boar to buy a cow is absolutely fine. I'm not trying to get that many boar. Yeah, I almost have to take the sheep on the wheel here. That's just way too good. Taking the sheep on the wheel here is incredible. Sheep is also food, even if we don't. Sheep is so much food. I agree. That's the point. Sheep, is, yeah, I agree. Sheep is sheep is so many points. Sheep is an incredible number of points, actually. Taking sheep here has to be correct. We we move the cows into this pasture and we get sheep. Oh, but sheep get taken. Okay, Marush gets hungry. That's fine. But yeah, sheep would have been very strong, but not an option. And that's that's fine. Uh, just renovating here. Well, actually, start player in here. Well, do I want to start player? Daniel literally can't grow without anyhow. I don't need to fight for this grow. And I kind of want grow with room anyhow off Mason. So just renovating here is probably correct. Get out of the way of whatever reno queue eventually comes. Although, wait, there's literally no... Marushka can't renovate yet. So I have a free action. What is that free action supposed to be? I need a two-stone action badly. But that's all I need. I just need a two-stone action. SP into reno? Yeah, that might just be it. It opens up a nice Plowso, yeah. And I guess I do just want Plowso, and it makes my opponents be last, sure. Uh, we'll reveal Loom, we'll just renovate to Major. Mason, oh yeah, Mason's fine too, but I can play that later. Um, I can play that later. I, I, I really just don't need the growth this game. I, I'm, gonna, I'm going to have an automatic growth coming. Like, in the final round, even if I don't get it next round, like, Daniel has a foreign aid. He can't grow without. Uh, so, Marushka's already at five. Like, there's there's no... I, I don't need to fight for this growth at all. I don't care. I don't really care where it happens. So, uh, we get another stable. That's good. I like having another stable. I like having manger. I, I just don't need a hearth. You don't think start does enough? I think start does enough for us. Plowso is good. How is Plowso not good? Admittedly, I am running out of things to do, so I probably should be thinking about joinery, because now that I think about it, I, I am basically done, right? What, what's left to do in my game after Plowso? I Plowso, I Mason, I grow. I play Half-Timbered House after taking two stone. 
but I still have like four or five actions this game. So I, it might be just take more sheep. It might be, I don't know, but... You think there's other good actions? There are other good actions for us, but I think I think this was fine. I think starting's fine. I need to play a lot of miners. I still have another miner that needs to get played. Um, but I mean, things are pretty good here. I'm already at 40. Um, I'm at 40. I'm breeding quite a few more points. I still have a three-point room, a three-point grow, a five-point half-timbered house. Like I'm, I'm on a clear 55-ish here. Which is pretty great. Woodcart was an absolute monster this game. And Building Tycoon was a monster here too. Building Tycoon is actually hilarious. Because I got to grow first and fourth because of it. Which is really wacky. That's not common. Anyhow, I take two stone here, right? Yeah, I take two stone here. I mean, growth wield. But I just don't care about the growth. Taking two stone and being able to grow with room next round with Mason is like just as good. Also, three pigs. Dang, do I need the food? I guess... I don't really care about the... I need the two stone worse. I need the two stone worse. Let's stay focused. Two stone for half-timbered house. We have it. Grow gets taken by teal. That's fine. We can play Mason later. I, I do just need food now. So I, I guess it is take... Taking the cows is also fine. I, I could take the cows and uh, shift. I could hold... Uh, I could try to hold four cows. Four cows comes with extra food because of butter churn. Um... And then I eat some. I mean, pigs are just better food here, right? Yeah, I, I just take the pigs. Pigs are a point, too. I could breed up to five pigs if I take them, probably. Uh, so take the pigs. And then play an expensive mason. I can play mason next round. Oh, I need to make sure to play mason. If I, if I get blocked on mason, I'm pretty screwed. But just take the pigs away from everybody. Yeah, I can exactly. Growth is uncontested next round, so I play half timbered house while growing, which that sounds great. Because uh, it is great. I mean, it is just great. I guess I might eventually take more sheep if I can actually get a better loom. I am kind of running out of things to do. I guess I could still think about joinery or some state. Well, no, wood's, wood's got it. I've made wood so tight. I, taking all that wood has really, yeah, just put so much wood pressure on the table that everybody's scrambling here. They're all pretty dead, so we're just clearly winning here. Yeah, I I agree. We are just clearly winning here. Like this this game is ours. Um, getting to do all the animal stuff and have all the wood for fencing this game was just yeah very good. Um, yeah, again, my fields and is, are kind of low, but my cro again, I'm still going to max vegetables this game too. Like I can buy, I presumably can buy vegetables off Winter Caretaker still. So um, what am I even doing here? Uh, do I take a pair of cows just for more food? Do I just play Mason to make sure I don't get blocked? I probably just play Mason so I don't get blocked. Getting getting screwed on Mason is like the surefire way that I lose this game. Still somehow, like Mason would be a pretty big blow. So I guess I just play it here, and then next round I just open sheep or something. If they're there, and uh, we'll just go ahead and build that room. No need to. No need to be funky about it. Yeah, so grow half timbered house is already 53. Breeding two sheep is more points. Breeding a cow is a point. Although, how is our food here, by the way? Uh, I get two food loom, two food churn. So I have four food. I eat two pigs. And then a cow and buy a veg. Yeah, I eat two pigs and a cow so I can buy a veg. But it does mean I actually need a little more food. Um, so opening sheep is going to be very good for me. Oh, I also don't really want to eat the cow because that cost me butter churn next round. But I, I do want to just buy a veg here. So it's probably okay. Yeah, it's okay. My next round, I really don't have a lot to do. I could take a grain for a point. I could try to take wood into stables. Um, 
I guess I can play cube cutter for a point. That's cost me food. Yeah, again, whatever. As this X says, I'm also just winning this game. It doesn't matter. I mean, Daniel's at 29. Sure, he has six actions left, but it just doesn't matter. Marushka has a very sick red fence coming. Um, Marushka's red fence gets him close, but Marushka wants to double Reno. Oh, Marushka renovates this round and then still tries to red fence. So Marushka has two renovates. That's 35. Fencing is going to take him to like mid 40s. And then he has three more actions. I mean, that doesn't sound like enough. Marushka gets the hearth. Yep. Does trigger charcoal, which is fun. Yep. Uh, yeah, this should this should just be a win. So, Whew, feels good to get a win at a table where I was worried sitting fourth seed initially, and yeah, having the weak player be there. Daniel Daniel building that room and letting me grow first was a big luck. But again, Marushka also like Marushka not growing round five, and adopting instead was just like a pretty big mistake. But building Tycoon is so funky. I don't I don't really blame Marushka. Honestly, I don't see building Tycoon enough to really know how to handle the dang thing. Uh, am I eating this cow just so I can buy a veg? I, I am, right? I eat this cow so I can buy a veg. It's fine. You've had to yet to face Marushka. You're terrified. You don't need to be terrified of him. He's just a very good player. There's lots of very good players. This has got to be one of the few Potter Ceramics drafts I've ever seen where I don't know if there were any baked bread enablers in the draft. Like, it looks like Marushka found no baked bread enabler for Potter Ceramics, which also is just kind of lucky for me. Because that is a first pick Potter Ceramics, and I think it just got unlucky. Like, I think it just didn't find any support, which is unusual. Um, anyhow, I'm, I'm just opening sheep with the loom. Uh, opening sheep here is fine. Uh, what else am I doing? I'm growing half timbered house obviously but i just need more food so i just take food actions do i take this or do i take the cows and hope the sheep come back it, do it doesn't matter what uh, daniel is always taking some animal pair so i i guess the sheep are just better for me right the sheep trigger another butter churn they trigger another loom and it might trigger more loom points so that's just better than the cows And I, I literally don't really have a lot else to do than other food actions. Uh, nobody else can grow. They're all at five. Yeah. So you think building tycoon's a sleeper? Yeah, I, I might have to warm up on building tycoon a little. The, one of the big helps of building tycoon is that, yeah, like you get to gather room parts and then it depends on how the queue is. It really depends on how the queue is. But if the queue is build focused... It really messes. It's really good at a build queue, right? If the family growth queue is based around building and not starting, it's so obnoxious because then whenever people build, you're just like, oh, yeah, I build and grow in front of you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so that's what I'm saying. I agree. It, it, as long as the queue is is limited by rooms, building tycoons very obnoxious, and that that's what happened this game. And then yeah, it turned out it turned very good. It was very nice. Uh, Daniel's getting Reno screwed. Uh, I don't know if he paid attention or missed conservator or whatever, or was just trying to buy stuff, but Daniel presumably takes the cows here. I might just take six food then. Yeah, I just take six food because I actually would like to breed all these animals. So I just take six food so I can breed everything. And then I take a grain and then I family growth. Um, I don't know if it's strictly optimal, but again, it doesn't even matter what strictly optimal is. Marushka does some funky fencing. I don't totally know what this is about. I feel like a box is just better, but Marushka's maybe just trying to make a pretty farm, knowing that it gets him second regardless. Uh, but yeah, I, I should probably look at building Tycoon a little more. I mean, the food can sometimes be annoying, but like this game, it was just really good. I got to gather room parts and it worked. Um,
Wood cart, everybody, pretty good. This is equal to the box. Is it actually equal to the box? Isn't the box just one more space? Oh, he saved wood. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Sorry, I thought he fenced 11, but this is this is fence. This is fence 10. Huh. But yeah, one big one big box is still better too. Whatever. I don't whatever. He he he's allowed to fence how he wants. Uh I said I'm just doing this. Yeah, just grain into grow half timbered. Um, what Gordon means by if growth is limited by rooms, it's very strong. Um, so I guess we need to talk about this because Gray Gray posted something in the Discord the other day, and people don't seem to understand. And I guess we should try to have like a growth queue video someday. But this game, family growth was limited by building rooms. You needed to build a room in order to be able to grow for most of the game. Now, Building Tycoon made that slightly different, but. Basically, you needed to be able to build to grow. Other games, lots of people have rooms, and you need to start player in order to grow. And the differences in those queues are funky and important. Build queues also get annoyed because if people double build, it really can mess with them, and then it shifts back into a start player for queue. But that's basically what he's talking about. Queues sometimes, in, like in late growth games, queues are almost always start player focused because everybody has rooms. Um, but... A lot of times, early growth games, the queue can be limited by who can build next, because then there's just no competition for growth after you build. Um, anyhow, we hit 57, which seems pretty nice. I mean, Rushka has a nice 50 here, but... Oh. All right, uh, Discord, yeah, I don't know. Uh, field fences, ah, Marushka had field fences still. And so he red fenced and then played field fences and then is playing game catcher here. Marushka is very close to me still. <laughs> Marushka's, a, Marushka's a damn good player, yeah. Marushka's scary like that. Marushka will be behind me, but not by a lot. I guess I'm breeding a ton of points still, right? Yeah, I also breed. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I and I can buy a veg. Maybe I can buy a veg. I'm getting three, four, five, six food. Yeah, I can still buy a veg. So I'm actually breeding I'm gonna be end at sixty one, so I'm still pretty high ahead, but with field fences, aren't his rooms and fields suspicious? Yeah, it's not optimal. I agree. It's not optimal. His rooms should be like here and then fences should be or fields should be here and then fences should be here. But I, I, whatever. He saved three wood versus four. So like he lost a wood, which is meaningful, but it's fine.
Daniel said he completely forgot building Tycoon. His plan was to just get three fields off of turn rest and to play Scythe Worker and do that. So, like, Daniel was just going straw thatch the whole game, uh, but then he thought he was going to jump into the growth queue by taking read and building. Um, but building Tycoon, he's saying, yeah, really messed him up, which, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, how many truffles did Marushka get? Probably three or four is my guess, but we'll see. Yeah, four-point truffle slicer. Lantern House uh, also wound up being negative three. Um, that's... This is where, like, this is the sort of game where, like... I, I Lantern House, to be fair, didn't cost Marushka a hell of a lot this game because it, it worked out just fine. But this is where, like, I'm just not that high on Lantern House. It, occasionally, it's very good. And it's still pretty good. But having to, like, spend an early wood for a four-point miner is, like, fine. But it, it could definitely be better than this, but... I, regardless, also, I mean, Marushka put up a 54. He he obviously played a very fine game. I And to be fair, again, Marushka's game is much better if somehow... Like, how was there no bake bread cards in this draft? I, I mean, it can happen, but, <laughs> like... No bake bread enablers is not very common in this set. There's so many bake bread cards, but all right, team. Mason and half timbered house. Very strong combo, even in four seat. It's all it's all you need sometimes. And and to be fair, a lot of other good miners. I mean, we we have a fifth pick loom for some reason. Uh, like my opening pack of miners was very good, but turn rest plow got taken by Daniel. Field fences got taken by Marushka, so Teal just picked really wrong is what happened there. I don't know what Teal picked out of my opening pack of miners, but it's clearly wrong. Um, but Wheeling Lube is pretty incredible. Um, what did we draft over the Lube the first time? Uh, that's a good question. What did I take over Loom? Oh, Half Timbered House. I took Half Timbered House. Uh, I, my opening picks were Mason and Half Timbered House. Um, yeah, 61. Feels good. Uh, feels very good. It's, 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 it's nice to get 61 point games when, uh, yeah, you're only on two fields too. Like this game plan turns out to just be very good. Uh, just even with kind of iffy ox setting up the wood cart Using the wood cart to just build some wood rooms, you pay for all of our wood cost miners, pay for all of our early fences, animal dealer our way to some extra animals, get tons of passive food. This butter churn is, this butter churn is very good. This butter churn was like seven or eight food this game, maybe even more. Yeah, this building tycoon was nasty. This building tycoon was incredible. This building, I mean, to be fair, Daniel says he's made a mistake. So I, I got lucky that Daniel made a mistake. But I got first growth because of building tycoon. And then I got fourth growth because of building tycoon. So I grew in round five and round eight. Uh, the building tycoon was actually really good. Animal dealer was pretty legit because, yeah, the passive food from churn and the food from loom and just breeding animals was extra good because of dealer. Uh, Woodcart was sick. Uh, Major is great for this game plan. Uh, Mason Half Timbered House are just great cards. Winter Caretaker was huge here too. Winter Caretaker got me to max veg and it got me a grain. Um, now it cost me a bunch of food, but I had a lot of food in the end game. So Winter, I've really, I, I mean, Winter Caretaker, I think everybody's been pretty warm on for a while, but, uh, Hey, Marushka, welcome. Yeah, well played to you. Uh, I mean, I certainly got blessed that Daniel built so I could grow. I mean, I got lucky, though, that you didn't grow first action in five. I, I said that you should grow just in case Daniel builds for me. Um, and then you did play adoptive parents, which was obviously like, how much of a mistake is that? How much is Daniel going to build or not build there? But you didn't lose anything. Well... Unless unless you could grow into adoptive parents, right? Well, like, if you just family growth and then you adopt, does that work? I don't know. But, yeah, that's fair. You can play adoptive parents after in Revised. Sorry. You forgot that it works like that on BJ. Yeah, 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 exactly. You can, you can do it in Reverse in Revised. Yeah, that makes sense. So you're still too used to the, yeah. 
the BGA version you can grow and then play adoptive. So yeah. Um, but anyhow, yeah, I mean, you have a really nice game, but, uh, I was really worried this game too, obviously with Teal doing their wackadoo start players and stuff early, but luckily Teal just got it like nobody's way and all of us still could do largely what we wanted. Daniel wound up actually really suffering this game too, by building wood rooms. It looks like like the wood, I was able to wood pressure during the mid game too, which obviously helped me a lot. You guys not being able to fence and stuff until really late was part of how I was able to win here. But yeah, Daniel had a much worse game than I thought. Actually 35. I missed that, but yeah, sick stuff here. Um, sorry, uh, up for a fast Terra Mystic game? Probably not. I'm probably just going to play one more Arena Terra Mystica, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to grind up a little. Is the dream. I mean, my regular rating is totally fine, by the way. It's my Arena rating. I'm, I'm, behind. I'm behind the race. But I've also struggled to get wins this season. But... I finally got to actually first pick good cards, so that also helps. It turns out, it helps. It ter it, it helps a lot when you get to pick some of the top cards in the formats in your opening pack instead of staring at an opening pack where you're like, uh, I guess I take, uh, you know, like storehouse keeper or something. But only 16 games. Only, excuse me, <laughs> it's like a game a day. <laughs> it's a totally reasonable rate. Yes. Admittedly, the people at the top of the ladder have played a lot more, so that is that is part of it. But it was a wind deranged. We first picked a mason and half timbered, and we had weird building tycoon stuff along with mushroom collector and wood cart. Uh, it was pretty sweet. And then we had just a monster... We had monster animal game with animal dealer and being the only player that could fence because we got to wood hog... And then butter churn and lube with like all the passive food off all of our animals. Um, so just like super efficient feeding. Like mushroom collector got us through the early game, animal dealer and lube churn got us through the end game. Um, which was, it was kind of always the game plan. It was also just, it was such a nice game because the game plan throughout the draft and the whole game just came together. It was just the game plan just executed. I mean, we had to do slight trickiness throughout, but the, the, Big picture game plan in the draft was exactly what we wound up with at the end. Yeah, it was a fun, like, card to play. Like, 61. You're at 16 games? Yeah, see, that's the thing. You could be at 16 games and still have a pretty, you know, pretty high rating, right? Like, to be fair, I'm, I'm guessing Lumen, Lumen's actually played a decent bit. But, like, some of these players have probably only, only have, like, 20 games or something this season. Like... I I think I think Gray and Zazak might be the crazy ones, yes, but uh the season started the eleventh, the twelfth? I don't know, we'll choose the twelfth. Uh Lumen has thirty three games. So that is double B. Rage has 62. Okay. Some of you, some of you are playing. The people at the top of the ladder mini are playing a lot. Oh, I know Econ Sean's played a lot. Gray has quite a few, but only at 40. So it's a little more reasonable. Anyhow, um, yeah. It, 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 again, Arena is partly who's the best player, partly who plays the most, partly who's on a lucky run. So all of those things it takes to do very well, but. I, my main goal, I think, this season is just to be top 10. I got top three last season. I'd be happy to just get top 10. This season, in my opinion, is way more competitive. Uh, people have gotten much better, and there's just more, like, really strong players really playing a bunch. Like, Gray obviously was not playing last season. Um, Econ Sean was up there last season, but kind of towards the end. Um Marushka has like there's a lot there's and they're just yeah the general quality of play is like so much better like it's crazy anyhow I said I should queue up for another uh, let's let's run one more uh, uh oh uh okay I have an async game so I have to take a turn of that but I obviously don't want to broadcast my hand so luckily this is what second monitor is all about uh we will go take our async turn 
so that we can join the dang queue. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. What are we? Oh, we're just confirming that we bred a boar. That's exciting. I should probably turn auto confirm off on async games, I guess, but whatever. Uh, oh, what up? One more. All right, what am I doing in this game? Oh, this one. This game. This game. Oh, this game's so good. I, I wish I could show this one, but again, I don't want to show my hand off, so. But one of my async games is, yeah, also an early growth game, and life is just pretty dandy. Okay. Uh, now... Now they will let me queue again. Is that Loki? That was baby Loki. I play SimCity 3000? I think that might be SimCity 2000, buddy. Oh, it is SimCity 3000, sure. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, your luck has been insane lately. You were going to lose a game this morning by four, but they could not feed and had to take three beggars. Wow. Yeah, so, I mean, that's a bit of what I mean about the luck, too, right, so Zach? Like, you're, you also, I heard, had, like, a run of, like, four Begging Student games. I've only played 16 games, to be fair, right? But I haven't seen Begging Student once. I don't think I've seen Tiller. Well, I, I, have t I do have Tiller in an async game. But, like, that might be my first Mason. Like, a, a lot of the strongest cards in the format I've not been seeing. Um, so... I agree. That's part of what I mean, right? Like, and it doesn't, it, you don't always need the strongest cards, but there's a lot. Baby Loki. Yeah, Baby Loki's cute. Uh, anyhow, I do play SimCity 3000 a bit. Uh, when I was growing up, I played some SimCity 3000, and I played a bunch of Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. That's some of the few computer-based games I play, basically. Otherwise, I'm mostly a console video, video gamer, but I occasionally go back and, yeah, play, play some SimCity 3000 and Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. Um... But all right, do we want to peek at who who's trying to jump in? Is Zach gonna steal all my elo here? Oh no, it's it's players that we don't recognize. Excellent. Sim City stream. <laughs> I, do people actually want to see me stream Sim City? Also, like, I, I have no idea. The one thing about that, too, right? Like, I have no idea what good SimCity play is, really. I just do what I do. I always feel awful because I feel like I tax my residents way too much, but they still come to my cities. So, it like, all game, I just constantly, my advisors are like, your taxes are too high. But I'm like, well, I still have a city and I'm making money and they're letting, they're coming. The population's still going up. I, that doesn't seem to be a problem. But, um,. Yeah, so I'm CA. Oh, I'm California. Yes, I am California. The taxes are yeah, yeah. My the, my my taxes are too high, but my citizens just come anyhow. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. That is what's that is essentially it's essentially my SimCity strategy. <laughs> I don't really, I mean, you can do what you want. I'm making it pretty obvious that I'm queuing at the moment. I don't necessarily need to run into a game with you, but it's also I can't stop you from queuing. I wouldn't want to get in the way of you hitting a million games or whatever. Um, do, 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 do. all right, we'll see if we actually hit one soon. Oh, hey, we're actually having a slight ban list post again. What? Or is somebody just finally responding to the guy that's talking about two player games? Oh, no. All right, Sean is on board with Big Country and Begging Student and is uncertain on Tiller and Ceramics. Yeah, that seems reasonable.
I I agree strongly, Sean, about the two beggars thing. I increasingly, like the other day on stream, um, you got bodied by Tiller Seasonal. Excellent. Well, I I'm I'm all for more people agree watching Tiller get a lot of wins. I mean, I I don't know what the rate is, but my opinion is that a strong player that gets Tiller, like essentially, you're just praying to God there's not combos in the draft. Otherwise. It's just such a hard game. I mean, occasionally, occasionally it doesn't win still. But again, it's like the rate of seconds matter to us too. But looping to the uh, the begging student convo, um, I used to think part of what would keep begging student in check was the fact that twenty five percent of games should have a constable. But like watching like Lumen stream game the other day, where he's like, "Oh, well, there's a begging student and constable. I'm not going to take the begging student. I'm going to take something else strong." He still loses to the begging student, like. And I, I thought he probably should just draft a begging student anyhow. And that's where it's very clear to me also, like, wait a sec. If I think begging student, even at negative six, is still better than other picks, that's probably a card that's too strong. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's probably too good. Um, so, yeah, I, I, suspect, I suspect the win rate on begging student has to be too good. Uh, oh, is it possible to zoom in? I could zoom in, but then it's going to make things bad. You could you could just go read it yourself. Um, but you're right. I was trying to highlight stuff, so that's no fair. But You could just de-draft Constable with Begging Student. Yeah, you can. But even if you don't, like, I don't even think it matters. Like I, I really don't think it matters. I think you, I think you can just plow through a constable most of the time and not care. Cause, cause the other thing, the other thing too, right? Is like constable is three points, but it's not all like sometimes it's kind of a fake three points sometimes, right? Because sometimes you have to do slightly awkward things to the point where you're really only getting like one or two points of value from chasing constable. So. Yeah, and that's exactly what. Yep, exactly, Gray. I completely exactly. Like last game, admittedly, my game was three. My, I would have got a three point constable last game, doing exactly what I wanted to do. But other players, other players would not have got a constable last game without having to do awkward actions to get there. Meaning that they're really only netting a point or two. So, constable is an unfun card. You hate it a lot. Wow, that's interesting. I, I know people that are not a fan of it, but I'm actually a big fan of constable. I think it's great. I'm much more like I'm much more dubious about some of the other three point bonuses, but oh, correct. House steward is way more stuff. Oh, I agree. I think five point constable original was a bit of a problem, especially because original had I think much like original. The games were significantly lower points most of the time too, so it was very hard to win without constable. This set. This said, I think it's fine. I don't think Constable's a problem at all. I think you can play around Constable pretty easily most of the time. It forces you to play very conservatively to hit it. Well, then don't don't play very conservatively to hit it. You don't have to. You don't have to hit it. <laughs> Again, if if all of your opponents are like taking weird actions to hit it. Are they actually netting themselves three points? Like, again, that's the thing. Like, the true points that a lot of people are getting off Constable are sometimes zero, sometimes one. Like, you can get blindsided by Constable. That part's a little sad. But you can get blindsided by House Steward. You can get blindsided by a lot of cards. You can get blindsided by Mason, by Half Timbered House. Like, any, I mean, those aren't global bonuses, to be fair, but. I don't know. I, I to be fair, if you're if you hate it, you're allowed to hate it. I don't I don't necessarily blame you. We all have cards we don't like. Like that is just part of the game. Um, five point constable would make begging student a bit worse. I, I still don't think it would matter. I honestly don't think it would matter. I I think I think begging student would still just not care most of the time. Like it's just so good. It's so good. Also, again, Constable only shows up 25% of the time, so. A little more than 25% of the time. We're, we're doing draft eight, so we're seeing 32 cards out of the deck set is now. The occupation set is now 90 something, maybe almost 100. And now we're removing it one or two. Yeah, I don't know. It's maybe more, closer to a third, but. Do I know if other cards will be banned? I don't know. 
everybody can vote for what they want to ban. There's a ban list discussion in the forums. The forums are the only way that we're going to get anything banned. It's the only way anything has got banned. Go speak up. Um, if you speak up in the forums, you can have a say in it. My current feeling is that I am pushing for begging student, big country, and tiller to be banned. I would love to have better data on them, but we're not going to get better data at the moment. Um, the data sharing project has hit snafus, and it's unclear when or if we will get data again. So we have to work off of community consensus. My sense from just general plays and stuff is that begging student is pretty unequivocally too good. I think begging student will probably get banned. And if people want to see it banned, they should speak up in the forums because I think there is enough of a consensus to ban it. It's just not enough people are actually saying so. But I suspect begging student will get banned. Big country is on the edge, in my opinion, based on community consensus. I think there's enough people that it probably leads towards banning. Will it get banned? I don't know. And then as for Tiller, I don't think Tiller has the consensus to actually get banned. So I suspect it won't be. But I am for a Tiller ban. I think the game I think I think Tiller ban would make the game quite a bit more interesting to me. But that's okay. Uh Potter Ceramics is the only other card at the moment people are discussing. Uh before Potter Ceramics got corrected, I think Potter Ceramics was clearly bannable. But now that it's actually implemented correctly, I'm on the edge about it. It's still very good, and it still makes your feeding very easy a lot of times. Uh, and there's a lot of baked bread enablers in the set. But like Marushka did not find a baked bread enabler there. But he still got second, partly because of Potter Ceramics. Um, it's hard for me to f say exactly how good Potter Ceramics is. I don't actually think it's strong enough to be banned, but I could be wrong. I'm not, I don't fully feel great about it, so. Uh, you can find Tiller to be fun to play with. I don't disagree that Tiller is fun. Fun does not factor into my, fun doesn't factor into if a card should be banned or not in my book. Uh, I care about if a person has an unfair advantage of getting first and seconds because of it. Like, is it abnormal and aberrant compared to drafting other cards? My belief is that your rate of getting first and seconds when you draft Big Country, Tiller, or Begging Student is aberrant compared to even the other strong cards. I have no desire to ban things like Grocer or Mason or um, Loom or whatever. Like, those cards don't need to be banned. They're they're strong. They're very good. They can win games. I, I basically won last game on a mixture of Half Timbered House, Mason, Loom. None of them need to be banned. But I I think I think the other ones are. But one problem with Potter Ceramics is that even if it's a ban, it can be instantly unbanned. Yeah, that's that I see, that's the thing that I say for Tiller, too, to be fair. Like I think Tiller, the biggest issue right now is the combos are still too prevalent. And if it, it it might be able to be unbanned in other sets, and that's fine by me. But in the current in the current format, I still think it's probably just too good. But yeah, I agree, Gray. Though Potter Ceramics, even if we eliminate it now, once we get more cards in the future, um, it will. Yeah, the 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 number of bake actions will significantly decrease. So. I also agree, Econ Sean, that Potter Ceramics has slight issues with clay pressure sometimes. Like, I think you can slightly play around Potter Ceramics. If Potter Ceramics doesn't get the clay oven, yeah, they could often get a hearth or a stone oven, but it's less efficient. It's it's less efficient. It's less like obnoxious at that point usually. Um, I I don't know. I I'm I'm still on Potter Ceramics. Probably doesn't need to be banned. But I'm also personally on the, if somebody does ban Potter Ceramics, I'm not going to be too sad. Um, I, I, I personally am not, I'm much more towards the end of let's ban cards. Uh, and the resulting set will still be super interesting. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't think there's going to be anything lost by banning some of these cards. But what decks will be added? Who knows? Uh, does that go for Tiller as well? Yeah. I, I I think Tiller gets a lot less obnoxious with other sets. Like, 
all of the rest of the revised cards, there's only a couple of cards that work on Day Labor, and most of them aren't even that good. The only card that's going to be really annoying for Tiller is there is a minor improvement that if you take Day Labor and Cheap Occupation is open, you get to jump to Cheap Occupation. Um, but that's still not even that strong because it tends to be that you have to Day Labor early in a round so you can jump to Cheap Occ. But getting to add Occupation on top of your Day Labor actions obviously can be pretty nutty. But that's also a minor improvement, so like everybody's going to draft that anyhow too. Uh, I don't totally remember how it works, to be fair. So I'm, I might be mangling it a little bit in my mind. Uh, I'm trying to think what other day labor cards there are, though. Like I, I, I think there's a, I think it's a lot less onerous once other decks get added. But are there any currently banned cards that should be unbanned? No. You've seen it lose enough when somebody has a good setup that you're fine with it existing. Yeah, I'm fine with Potter Strikes existing too. There is the three stone day labor card. Um, no, Quarry doesn't. Quarry, Quarry is an original. Quarry does not exist in. Quarry does not exist in Revised. Um, at least I don't think Quarry exists in Revised. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it never got reprinted. Um, Anyhow, uh, the currently banned stuff is going to stay banned. Um, the Okay, this does not look like a strong table, which is I'm totally cool with. I'm fine having an easy game. Um, hey, uh, Big Country or Potter Ceramics or Rammed Clay. Um, okay, those are some choices. Uh we also have a furniture maker paper maker combo. We can have the makers. Ugh. But 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 this card. We're third seat. I don't recognize most of these players. Although I think this was the player in elite, so we might be in the worst seat again. Yeah, uh twelve games and has a hundred ratings, so stone two, not to be trusted. Two thirty six played a lot, at least kinda knows what's up. And 272 played 100 games also kind of knows what's up. So there's only one player that's like really completely unpredictable and has no clue what they're doing, but they're unfortunately right after me. So that's a slight bummer. But then these players are not particularly strong. So that makes me hesitant to go two room big country. Uh, going two room big country. Oh, I don't always assume an easy game because of weak players either. Trust me. I've lost way too much to people in the mid ranges that I'm not completely discounting it. But, oh, that's exact. well, correct. That's what I, exactly what I'm worried about here, Montu. Weak players tend to start player way too much. Teal has no clue what they're going to do. They're going to start player on me too much this game, and I'm passing them some free miners regardless. I'm tempted by that line, Gordon. I am very tempted by the furniture maker, wheel paper maker line. I'm very tempted by it. Um... However, I'm almost more tempted to just like de draft like rammed clay or potter ceramics and expect that nobody's going to beat me with big country at this table, but that's probably too hopeful. So I agree. I'm very tempted by furniture maker and we take big country and we, we, we probably don't two room big country, but maybe. Oh, I don't think I, there's no guarantee paper maker wheels, but. Is there any card here that's really better than Furniture Maker anyhow? I mean, Chimney Sweep and Wood Expert, I guess. You think chimney, Big Country Chimney Sweep's too good? I, I don't think that's wrong. I think there's a decent chance I get Chimney Sweep back then if I'm not getting Paper Maker back. I, I, I'm not, I, I do think these players are not going to draft correctly. I also kind of agree with Zazak that there's hopefully enough value, but I'm also content to play like a four room big country. Like you can do things. I think I probably just, God, I don't really want to take the big country. I really don't. Do I just take the Potter ceramics then? What do I take? I, I don't know. The Potter ceramics helps provide food for furniture maker. Rammed clay though. Mean, the clay pressure is going to be annoying. 
screw it. I'm just going to take these cards, and then we're going to see what happens. I'm not I'm not convinced this is correct, but it's what I'm doing. Um, okay. So, Lantern House. Uh, that doesn't really look good. Lantern House with, like, Big Country in hand looks like trouble, so it's probably just take Sleeping Corner here. Sleeping Corner, Big Country also, unfortunately, unfortunately is really pushing us really pushing us towards uh towards towards yeah that's i i agree i i, I think it, i think i think uh game one went well fofo i won with mason uh i won with mason half timbered house um and a, a sick loom and a butter churn like there's a lot of good stuff um but mason half timbered house is a lot of the value and then i also had a uh a great pastures and animals and stables and loom. It could be three room big country, but it could just be two room big country. Like two room big country with sleeping corner is yeah. I agree with that though, Gordon. Just getting the first growth and then growing. I agree. I, I'm a pretty big fan of it too. So it's probably going to be a little bit of what the board gives me and what the rest of the packs give me. Uh, house steward and a... Okay, well, now there's a constable. So now the collector becomes less exciting to me, but the constable becomes totally legit. Or I just de-draft the constable. Uh, I'm not contesting house steward, but the rest of the Yahoos can. House steward resource recycler is kind of fun. Um, education bonus furniture maker is kind of fun, but just strawberry patch, mini pasture, min mining hammer, all of these cards are crazy good for big country. Uh, like raising my point ceiling up. I'm a pretty big fan of strawberry patch here, actually. Right? Uh, if I do collector stuff and then I just de-draft the constable or I play the constable if it comes to that and I let the collector die. Oh God, I don't know. What am I actually doing? I feel like the collector provides too much value here. The collector's crazy good. So I just take the constable out of the game so I don't lose three points. I think I gotta just be the boring big country player this game. I, I think I gotta just be the boring big country player. And so we just take the constable. And then... Mini pasture gets us fences faster. Like mini pasture helps fencing, which is great. I agree. I also can just I can just get four wood early. You like puppeteer. You guys all like puppeteer too much in my book, but uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm too much of a puppeteer. Maybe I don't trust puppeteer enough. But it's so weird on the timing a lot of times. So I'm not I'm not taking puppeteer here, but. Constable is not good with Collector because Collector gives you Beggars, and Beggar is a negative point, and you can't win Constable if you have any negative points. Beggars are negative points. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, I think I'm just going to take Strawberry Patch. I'm a, Well, wait, I need Miners I can play early. I, I need to take a Miner I can play early. So... I'll just take the... I'll take the Mini Pasture. It's, it's very flexible and useful. Um, wow. Okay. Um, 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 team, team, I'm also giving a Mason and a, I'm giving a Mason, I'm, I'm being offered a Mason in a, in a, in a house steward game, but I also have, a, I just have a major, like, this is the easiest major ever, like, I, I, I gotta just do two room big country, just de-draft all the strong cards, and I'm just not playing Ox this game, this furniture maker's trash, but... You're taking a four-wood card here. If we play big country in round six with collector, we wheel chimney sweep. We win always. There's a master. There is a master builder in this draft. That's true. I might wheel master builder here, and then I don't know. Yeah, I look gray carrots is pretty nuts, but I I think I'm a boring chump that's gonna let somebody else try to beat me with carrots. Is there an option on BJ while spectating to ask to be cards? There is not, and it's very important that there's not. Uh, that would be too abusable for cheaters. Way too abusable. Um, so that's never an option. No no spectator on a BJ ever lets you see hidden info.
Uh, yeah, anyhow, I'll just take Major. Uh, Major is dumb here. Um, Turu Big Country looks dumb here. Although, honestly, God, getting handed Mason is just... <laughs> it's tempting. It's tempting to Mason. But Carrots is like 7 win 2 stone. Shh, is it? What what am I doing for carrots? I'm going to I'm going to collect some veggies and get them into the ground. Master builder does wheel. Paper maker did not. Uh but Potter ceramics did. Uh I don't think this is a Potter ceramics game though, but How would you abuse that though? I guess if you had to ask permission to see people's cards, maybe maybe you can't really, but I, regardless, it's not an option on BJ, and it never will be, so. Uh, this could just be Woodfield, I guess. Just a food to a point is fine. I mean, handing Potter Strymix around is silly, but I just don't need it. I mean, people are going to start player on me because it's free, I guess. God, I also could just go for a six-room, like, stone house, but... I don't really need to do that, but oh my god, what has this game turned into? I guess this is just take consultant for a pair of sheep. That's so weak. God, what do I do here? I think I just take Woodfield. I think I think I'm just gonna be a boring two room big country and trust that none of these opponents can hit fifty when I keep taking the best cards. Now to take the best card out of this pack, it, maybe it's take layabout so that they starve, but there should be plenty of food. I'll just take consultant in case sheep get tight. Um, organic, yeah, I'll take. Well, or is fodder planter better? Huh? Wait a sec. Is fodder planter better? Wait a second. Is fodder planner better? With collector, I should have tons of animals. I actually need to worry about building stables. Yeah, this is probably fodder planner. You'd go for six rooms in a late big country. Uh, six rooms is really tough. That's not really an option. Uh, this has to be hunting trophy. These other cards are not playable. Um, yeah, fodder planner is insane with collector. I agree. Organic is better if I wheel livestock feeder. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, organic is organic is funny with livestock. But fodder planter should be pretty good here uh, off of collector. So yeah, this is fun. But organic organic farmer livestock is actually pretty funny, yeah. Yeah, that is pretty that is interesting. And I do wheel livestock. Wow, I also get mining hammer and strawberry patch back. Yikes. Um I need stables pretty badly, and with Collector, it's a lot easier to reno. So this is probably Mining Hammer, because providing me stables is probably more helpful. But God, Strawberry Patch is very good, too. But I'll, I'll say Mining Hammer here. Yeah, we'll, we'll say Mining Hammer. And then I guess this is Livestock Feeder. I doubt I play it, but that's not... My my hand is such my hand's super awkward here. Actually, if I if I'm forced to play an Ock early, I'm I'm in a, I'm in a, I have a problem. But um, all right. There was a question earlier that I should get back to. Sorry, uh, Ace Spade. General question: In situations like this, where my strat is set up, at what point do I draft a great card like Potter Shamix versus picking up a mediocre weak card? It really depends. Um. Taking Potter Ceramics there was totally legitimate. I don't tend to super de-draft, although like I de-drafted Mason this game because I'm not letting anybody else have a Mason. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It 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 depends. But this is a bad ceramics draft. I agree. The the partly why I don't want ceramics here though is because we saw we saw rammed clay. And I don't think we saw any clay injection, and we saw a decent amount of gray in cards. So I'm not that worried about passing Potter Ceramics in a game where I yeah, where I've already seen all that other stuff. Um and I didn't see any bakes. There you go. That's true. That's also pretty intense. Yeah, I did not see any bakes. Hey, my opponent at least first picked a good card. They took patron. Good for them. Uh I'm guessing this is where my paper maker died then, but I'm very happy to have not passed furniture maker to patron. So there's that at least. 
Uh, we see Patron and Tudor early. Oh, plowing gets taken though. This is the biggest. This is the biggest difficulty I have with playing two room big country games against weaker players. They plow. They plow early, even though they don't need to. Even though they have no reason to, they just do it. There was a threat. There was a threshing board. That's true. I saw. I did see threshing board actually. So we saw a bake. Um. All right. Hopefully we don't get plow blocked too much more because uh, I actually need fields really badly. I like very badly. I I can fence. I I really God. I really can't. I I have to fence like eight spaces. I can't, if I'm gonna collector, I can't do other weird fencing arrangements. I gotta get. I gotta get fields. So that that field is tough actually. Hopefully they don't have good reasons to keep plowing, but. Day labor for the patron is interesting. There's now four clay on the table. Uh, I don't really have time for it. I'm just taking wood and hoping to wheel plow, but I, I should wheel plow. There's crazy good actions on this board now. Like I'm going to be skipping taking two reed or four clay, or I guess I could, if two reed comes back, I could, I could three room big country still. There's no real reason I can't three room big country. I, I could completely abandon the big country. It's true. I can try to find extra wood for stables outside of my pasture. Yeah, that's true, too. I could maybe stable. Uh, could maybe stable if I don't get plows. Wood expert. Hey, Teal's drafted well, at least. Teal's, Teal did take good cards, but they didn't take my paper maker then. A little sad that I didn't keep wood expert. Wood experts, decent. Well, not that great for this hand. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, I think I am just plowing on the wheel, but yeah, two reeds mildly tempted. Two reed is mildly tempted. Why weak players plow since the beginning of the game? They just do. I don't know why they do. I'm just telling you that mid range players, like mid and low range players, seem to like plowing early, even though I don't know. Like to be fair, it's not that bad of a move, but like plowing over two wood and two clay is like kind of interesting there. Ah, uh, Tudor Papermaker. Purple's on to the strats. I'm just going to plow. I'm a chump. I'm a complete chump. I don't feel good about it, but I'm doing it. Um, I do need three food next round. Uh, I really need to just keep plowing every round. I need plow very badly. Uh, I can always just play constable for wood. So it's probably just take three food and try to plow next round. Otherwise, three food and more wood is okay. Plow is nice if you don't have better actions. Well, sure, but they had two wood or two clay. Those actually accelerate your game, whereas plow probably is not doing you anything. Maybe it is. I can't tell you that plow is not, but... I'm just saying I had this one other... I just had this one other time, though. I was trying to run a two-room big country, and I got plow blocked in, like, rounds one and two, and maybe even three. Like, people just plowed a bunch early. Uh, purple's starting, though. That's fine. Maybe they have sleeping corner. Yeah, I yeah, exactly, Gordon. I mean, they could have straw thatched or something, I guess, but... Uh, blueprint. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. People can have guilds. It, it does not bother me. Uh, how much do I need food versus the table needs food? Uh, nobody really needs food, actually. I don't. I could just take four wood here and then ex expect to wheel plow and then expect to get four food. Yeah, I agree, Fofo. It's fine. I, we've all we've all been in different spots. Uh, how steward gets played? Okay, I'm very tempted by four wood. Four wood's kind of greedy here, though. Yeah, the Agricola rule book does kind of lead you down the wrong path, too. Admittedly, so it's fine. Um. Do I take four wood like a greedy son of a gun? Or do I just take three food plow? If I take four wood, I really have to plow second action, which means I'm very much gambling on the bottom feeding. Yeah, four wood probably is a trap. I agree, Sean. I think that's the problem. I think I, I, think I know that four wood is a trap, but it's a trap I want to walk into. But I'll be a good boy. Uh, I'm going to hit traveling just in case somebody's trying to puppeteer. Uh, we'll knock out the puppeteer. Uh, and then we're just plowing on the wheel. Um, yeah, just got to plow.
Uh, probably do we just have to plow around our house to leave open the bigger fencing option, even though I really don't want to take the bigger fencing option. Uh, looks like everybody's taking wood. Wow, we're really Tudor paper maker early. This is wild. Four occupations by the end of round three. A uh, little surprised this isn't Reedstone food, but whatever. Ah, it's brushwood. That's why. Okay. Uh, so that means taking wood is going to get a little hard uh, because, yeah, wood wood's going to get a little tight, but I have plows are even worse. I have to get all these plows in. Have to keep plowing every round. I Stork's nest. Oh, it could be a stork's nest. Although you still need a read action. So I think... I guess you need awk actions worse than you need read actions. Yeah. Yeah, that could be. It could be that he just plans to take readstone food later and still take wood and play one more awk. I didn't see stork's nest in the draft, but yeah, this could be this could be a stork's nest line. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, opening up the growth queue even more, though, would be... I don't know if that would be cool or not. Uh, Two-room big country might, <laughs> might make me a little sad, but I guess I could always jump into the room queue still, potentially, but... We'll see. We'll see. Things are fine. Things are fine still over here. Private forest. Instead of reedstone food, instead of two wood. That's unfortunate. That's a first pick private forest too. Oh, but they undo it. Okay. Just take three wood. <laughs> Don't start player private forest. Just because it gives you an extra wood in round four doesn't mean it's important. I guess being last next round is probably okay. It's just I could get I could get wood blocked very easy next round. Uh, I'm probably getting wood blocked next round, actually. I'm never getting three wood, am I? Yeah, I don't get three wood next. Well, I might get three wood. Purple might awk. If it's a stork's nest, purple might awk again. Purple chose two food awk that last round, but if they take wood, they could build a room. So if they take wood here, what do I do? I could play constable. Okay, I can just take three wood. Good, 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 good. <laughs> uh, this probably is a stork's nest line then. Uh, although it still might be reedstone food is better than awking again, but bricklayer. Okay, sure. I will just take wood. Take wood and plow. I'm going to be boring. Be boring. I need one more wood action. I need three more plow actions. I need a fence action. I need a big country action. Uh, that means that what? I plow. Round five is plow and wood. Round six is plow and fence. Round seven is big country and sheep. Something like that is... Well, I don't even want sheep. Wait a sec. Round seven is big country and collector. Round eight is giant clay stack and collect. Something like that. Does everyone know I'm in big country? I mean, they should. They, they they should. Whether or not they do is not anything I can answer. I mean, it's a first pick big country, so they don't they don't know it. But I mean, look at my farm. What am I doing? Like, Hey, Koki Loki. Uh, we get Carpenter played here. That's People are going to at least have a lot of room shortly, it looks like. People are having slight wood pressures, but hopefully I can sew in round nine. Oh, that would be sweet. Getting extra grain to livestock feed would be insane. Yeah, sewing would be cool. Sewing would be pretty sweet. I can still play fodder planter too, though. Although fodder planter is worse than just sewing in rounds round sewing at the end of round nine is just very good. And then sleeping quarters online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. We'll see. If girl flips in five, do I pivot to three room big country? I think no, I probably not, honestly. I probably don't. Um Getting into the growth queue looks really annoying here, right? Like the player the player after me is gonna build two rooms. That's a really annoying position to be in in the growth queue, right? Because if I build a room, they're going to start player on me multiple times or try to. Um, they're also currently just going to grow first, probably. So 
getting into the growth queue looks not so hot for me. So I think I think that's the reason that I probably wouldn't. Um, also, my food is not good. I've chosen not to set up food explicitly because I plan to have a bunch from Big Country. But growth does flip in five, so look at that. Um, that's a bit gross. Uh, purple pretty much has to take wood here. And purple probably was setting up Stork's Nest, so that's a bit of a bit of a bummer outcome for them, but it's okay. I don't care about it. I'm going to take three wood and plow. I, I might not get to take three wood, huh? Yeah, if I can't take three wood, I really don't care about five food fishing, but that's a pretty sweet action in a round five growth game. But, oh, hey, fishing's going to go anyhow. Look at that. Okay, I'll take three food or three wood. Uh, I could plow first, but none of these players should be plow blocking me. They really should be fighting for growth. Teal's getting to double grow. Oh, God, that's a problem. Also correct. Two wood was enough, so I probably actually just take two wood. But I would have plowed into two wood probably. But uh, Teal getting to grow twice is uh, not good. Not good, team. That part's not good. The, the upshot is Teal's the weakest rated player. Uh, but, uh, they might have learned some things, because thus far, nothing about their draft is actually indicating anything's wrong. Okay, to be fair, they scored a 51 two hours ago, uh, but then they scored a 30, and a 27, uh, 44, 39, but scoring a 51, something, something went right. Maybe that's something that went right was double growing. We'll see. Yeah, that's what I mean. People people can be pretty good players, uh, even if, yeah. So, I mean, Teal's game looks reasonably good. Uh, Teal's played a patron, a carpenter, and a wood expert. There's nothing particularly wrong about those cards. Um, <laughs> purple is awking again. This is going to be a fast tutor paper maker. Feeding. Yeah, I, I, the, the upshot is Teal hopefully starves now. That's hopefully the dream. Wow, merchant for purple, sure. Hopefully that means purple starts for me a bit. But uh, all right, uh, do, I cro do I close out my house yet? I think, I th yeah, I close out my house, right? I'm, I'm truly not contesting this ever. It's fine. I, I, I don't intend to contest. Next round is just plow and fence. Like we just, we just run the big country life. It's fine. We run the big country life. Oh, Lord, Teal first picked a bookshelf with a patron. Uh, remember that food pressure we were worried about? That looks like trouble. That looks like trouble. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, that's a good position to be in. Uh, Red is starting, even though they don't need to be, because Red just needs to build a room. But I guess they just want to get a Granary out, which, I mean, fair enough. Granary's a good card. But um, they're not going to get to grow this round, so they did not need to start player, but it's okay. Uh, I should just plow and fence. I mean, people fencing here looks crazy. Wow, yeah, Red doesn't even choose to build yet. I guess there's no pressure on Red to build. Who cares if Red builds? It does not matter. Purple needs to take wood. Yeah, there we go. Purple still can't build, though, because, yeah, their brushwood cost them a thing. Uh, I plow and defense. Plow and defense should work. Yeah, plow and defense should work. Early growth seems a bit troublesome. I don't really think so. Purple's looking clay supports. Yeah, that could be. Uh, I don't think early growth is that troublesome, Deranged, to be honest. I, I really actually don't think it's that big of an issue. Uh, it's certainly more concerning than late growth. Blue has the layabout. Oh, that's that's true. I passed the layabout. Yeah, blue. Teal's in a strong spot. But, I mean, this game is still somewhat going to come down to point ceiling. So, Teal is winning house steward. And Teal gets to four family members. So, that's concerning. They don't even need the Teal. They don't need the layabout. But the layabout's still strong. The layabout's very strong still. Like... If you get to grow aggressively and then you just don't actually owe food for a harvest and then you are you still have extra food for later, that's quite good. Like, Teal's going to owe eight food. 
getting to play a seven food occupation is still pretty damn good. Not 12. Well, oh, yeah, if you're counting patron and, yeah, with patron and bookshelf. But yes, exactly. Layabout's still very good. There's there's nothing wrong with layabout here. You mean 36 points. Exactly. That's how it works. Anyhow, this game is partly going to come down to point ceiling. And so, like, purple... Oof. Okay, well, there's, there's finally a small mistake. Uh, Read Roof Renovator is not a good card. Uh, and it's not clear who's renovating for them soon. I guess I guess the dream is, yeah, purple is going to clay supports, but uh, yeah. Anyhow, I obviously fence here. Um, yeah, I'm going to be collecting. Collecting is the plan. The plan is to collect. We still have to take a decent bit of wood off the board, too. Sleeping Corner and Manger are not free. But that's fine. Taking a little wood away from other players is still good, too. So uh, We really just have to make sure we don't get blocked at Big Country next round, but I'm not anticipating that happening because nobody really has to start and nobody seems to need to Manger. But uh, getting blocked at Big Country is obviously a problem because that's how we feed. Red might want to start for the sheep. Red's first action, they can just take the sheep. Red, like, it's going to be okay. <laughs> Red, does, Red is not going to start for the sheep. Seal takes four clay before growing. That seems good. And they grow. So yeah, I mean, Teal is by far the most concerning. The fact that Teal has so many actions and the fact I'm probably start playing for Teal. Yeah, actually, I'm just guaranteedly starting. Oof, and they kept the Ram Clay. I mean, of course, they kept the Ram Clay. So yeah, wood blocking them is actually not an option either. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of an issue. Bit of an issue. Red should take the sheep and then grow. Uh, that's what they're going to do. It's good. Um, I'm going to start player big country and then hopefully next round I get something like a big pile of stone or I get a decent pile of clay. This is clay supports from purple. Good read, gray. Good read. So clay pressure is high this game. So I probably do need like a fireplace or a hearth. So my clay pressure is, I do have clay pressure here. That's wood pressure, not clay pressure. <laughs> oh, brick layer. Oh, brick layer. Oh, duh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there isn't yeah, duh. I forgot they had brick layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. They they have they have two they have two wood clay rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's so many rooms happening this game. I don't even need I'm not even gonna need sleeping corner this game, hilariously. Um sleeping corner <laughs> sleeping corner's just not gonna be necessary. Uh, because um, <laughs> everybody's going to already be at five family members. Uh, but, oh well. Let's see a nine-room house from Purple. Yeah. We're going to see a big house from Purple eventually, so. Um, okay. I probably do just play Collector. Uh, as for Loki's line, it's definitely not what Loki said. I, it is never, it is never Woodfield. Uh, I am not playing Woodfield. Um, I don't care about Woodfield. Yeah, I think you're overvaluing Woodfield by a lot. I think you're overvaluing Woodfield by so much. I actually don't think Fodder Planner is better than Slow. I don't think Fodder Planner is better than So. I, I disagree with that. I also am not playing Livestock Feeder. Wow, you guys do think Livestock Feeder is better. You think holding that one extra animal for one harvest is important? Like, it's one harvest that I'm not going to breed an animal. And instead, I get to take an action off the board when everybody else is contesting? 
I can sow a third grain. Oh, that's true. I can sow a third grain. Oh. It's definitely not fodder planter, though, for the record. Fodder planter is not important here. God, it feels wrong to completely... It feels completely wrong to not interact with the board, though. It, it, I just... Organic farmer. I'm sorry I didn't keep organic farmer. I, I just feel like taking stuff off the board is pretty important in these games. Like, I can take three stone off the board. Maybe it's not that important. I guess I'm still playing big country. I'm mostly playing my own game. I'm injecting a stupid amount of stuff this round. It's just long term, I want to be able to like renovate. And what am I doing after I... And I might want the stone oven. Three stone can't be too wrong. Okay. I My instincts are to take three stone. This is why you don't like big country. I, I mean, again, I don't blame you. Like, I, I agree. I'm, I'm being very... I'm not interacting with what everybody else is doing. But... Yeah, I don't know. I think this might be three stone. Like, three stone... Possibly I'm feeding via a stone oven during the mid-game? I don't know. Making the board even juicier with early growth is worrying. A little bit. It is. But, I mean, that's part of why taking three stone slightly intrigues me, because part of how these players are going to hit high victory point ceilings is, like, actually getting their stone renos and getting majors. So... Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not I'm not getting the well with three stone. That's not the point of taking three stone. That's that's not what I'm concerned about. I I three stone is just an action I want eventually. So my instincts are to take three stone, but I'm gonna think about it just a little bit here about what happens if I don't. I really want to sow. I should get a sow action. I, and I do want to just sow instead of fodder planter. And the reason is sowing in sowing allows my fields to be cleared for the final round. And I might need that to get a lot of extra food. Loki, there's no immediate use to the stone. It's not immediate. But I, I have no immediate needs for anything. That, that's part of the point. Like, what do I need right now? Nothing. I, I have, like, two stages to do whatever. This round, I want to get breeding animals, and I think I want to get crops sown, so that's all going to happen. And so the question is, what do we do in addition to that to set up for our future game? Four wood is an option, too. Four wood's not terrible. I need a wood action someday. But my instinct is to take three stone, later take clay, set up for the renos. Maybe it is just four, maybe it is just four wood, though. Because I, I also need stables pretty quickly. <sighs> Or there's still the livestock feeder. Livestock feeder does let me breed and does still give me the extra crops. Livestock feeder still is not that bad. I get part of the reno parts off of collector. I don't get the stone, but yeah. Gosh, this is a funky spot. I get the reed from collector. Livestock feeder in 10. The stables can be for mining hammer, maybe, but that's an awkward timing. Three stone now. And I just don't breed. I just don't breed a sheep this harvest, and I just don't care. Hammer is slow. I agree. That's the biggest issue of mining hammer. I don't really like mining hammer, which is why I like four wood is also pretty good here. I'm gonna take the three stone. My whole instincts have said to take three stone to cut to cut the victory point ceiling from other players. Partly to get my own renos. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I also think stone oven is just how I'm feeding. I think I'm gonna to try to get like a three clay grab and renovate to the stone oven. Cause I don't I don't really think I wanna try for like I, I kinda of want a fireplace or a hearth, but I, I'm just not sure. I think stone oven's going to work pretty well. So, and, and I should probably get stone oven. I mean, I guess this granary could take stone oven instead of well. But then I get the well. And so that's fine. Do I want to sow this stage? I definitely am sowing this stage. Yeah, that I had one free action. 
I agree the livestock feeder line was pretty interesting. Will I take wood when collecting? No, I will not. Collector is absolutely this round it's reed, and next round it's reed and probably another stone. Oh, another stone's awkward actually. Because then I still need a stone action to reno. Uh so then maybe maybe it is one wood next round. Maybe it is just one wood. Because one stone doesn't really help me. I don't think that works, Sean, because I'm eventually taking a clay action anyhow, so why take clay? Fodder planter is not better because of the timing. The timing really matters. If I sow now, my field's clear in time for the final harvest. Do we care about getting to stone? I think we do. With Collector, I have a bunch of negative points, and I don't... What am I doing the rest of the game? Like, seriously, what do I do after this stage? I renovate? What else am I doing? I My farm is done. Like, I think I'm supposed to set up for double reno, which is why I'm taking reed here. And I'm not taking clay. I eventually have to take a clay action for feeding. This is why you don't like collector in big country, because it because you because you run out of things to do. You'd go fodder planter and no so too. Fodder does so after 14. That's true. Fodder does so after 14. That wait, that's a good argument, Fofo. Wait a sec, you're right. I, I'm arguing against fodder. I'm only breeding two pairs here though. I don't necessarily blame your lines, Zach, but I mean I think this is still gonna work reasonably well for me. But yeah, I don't I don't think you're entirely wrong by any means. Um but it's okay. Um Huh, maybe it is fodder planner. Fodder planner does not give me three. I can't breed three here. I cannot breed I can't breed all three pairs, so I don't think we're playing livestock feeder either. I, I think we gotta go Oh, it is a stork's nest, everybody. Good call on the stork's nest line. So purple's double growing this round. So yeah, people are growing crazy fast this game. Wait, did red not oh red did grow already. Okay. Don't you breed and release? No. Well No? Do you breed and release? I'm not sure that's how that works, actually. Maybe it, maybe that does work. For each newborn animal. See, I don't... Am I getting the newborn animal? It's not... You're not supposed to get the newborn animal, right? It gives you three, but you think it's a bug. Okay, I agree. I think it's a bug. Because... I don't actually... You're not actually supposed to get the newborn animal. BGA gives it to you, but BGA is not supposed to. Okay, you guys all say it works. Okay. Well, it it shouldn't work, but oh well. It's a bug. Everybody agrees. Okay. Uh, Stockman for Teal. That's fun. But if Teal's going to build stables, uh, that's going to get sketchy. Rules say animals only breed if you have space for it. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's a little bit why I was probably not on the fodder planner line like the rest of you. Oh, wow. Red has the education bonus and has not played knock yet. So good for them. Uh, so yeah, I guess I guess next round is fodder planner and then collect. Fodder planner and collect is pretty damn good. Um, although I don't harvest the grain. Wait a sec. I don't harvest the grain. Not harvesting the grain makes the stone oven... Well, I don't need the stone oven for feeding next harvest, do I? Okay. Yeah, maybe it works. Stone oven seems contested. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to think red might be building the stone oven, but then I get the well. It's okay. I still have to figure out other feeding, which means I will need like a hearth or a fireplace, but that's okay. We can work on it. We can work on the hearth or fireplace. We can get there. Teal is just going to fence. Okay, that's reasonable too. 
Or it's enough to reno to stone plus clay oven. Ah, uh, that's true. Clay oven. Clay oven actually is very welcome still. And that is an option. If I get five clay. Oh, that's awkward. I'm never getting a five clay grab. I'm getting a four clay action. So then is this... Maybe this is reed plus clay. Reed plus clay here. I guess it also helps open up... That also helps open up three clay fireplace. Wow, fencing tight. I'm guessing this is where the hide farmer wound up then, but that's worrying because, again, people actually drafting the right cards. What? Yeah, three clay fireplace exists. So, yeah, this is this round is collect reed and clay plus crops and animals. Um, collect reed and clay, crops and animals, play fodder planter. Yeah, okay. It's what we'll do. It's what we'll do. Teal has Master Builder, planning to build a clay room. That could be too, I guess. It, maybe it's not Hide Farmer. It could be Master Builder. Uh, Master Builder is a great pick in a draft that has uh, House Steward. Although, I mean, House Steward should get won by Purple still. I mean, Purple just needs to take wood and build crazy number of rooms still and be fine like purple almost certainly is building a room this round just to grow with stork's nest um which again yeah there's so many actions in this game the upshot is my opponents don't have good food really right well this bookshelf patron still injects a ton of food but we, we have double late animals at least so that's kind of welcome the stone oven does go so yeah there goes the theory of the stone oven but the well the well is probably just mine then, so next I can probably just run out to the well at some point. Teal has muckrake with the stockman for sure. Uh, I mean, Teal's, I would not say anything for sure, but that does seem reasonable. That's, that's definitely a solid guess. Collect into so well next round. I, I'm, I, I, I have been sold by the fodder. I've been, I've been sold by the fodder planner uh, over sowing. And I agree. I can. I can well. I. I'm not welling this round. Obviously, I'm saying I get the well later, but I think sewing's too important. Sleeping corner is actually not important. Interestingly enough, I don't think sleeping corner is particularly a rush. We should just build the well straight up, maybe. But I'm hoping to just take clay in to renovate the well. I guess that I don't get the stable from. I don't get the stable from Mining Hammer. Ugh. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. It's probably fine just to play the well next round if I'm allowed to, rather than renovating it. I actually can't run out Clay Oven yet. Um... The reason that I can't clay oven yet is this is the downside of fodder planner. I'm not actually going to have any, I'm not going to have any grain in my supply during the next stage. So that part is annoying. Uh, that's the other downside of fodder planner. Um, I don't actually have the grain in supply until stage five. So my food is going to get a little sketchy. And clay oven is not the best way to feed, by the way, because I have to so bake eventually. Yeah, I've actually, this might be a problem for me. I don't know. But whatever. My opponents are doing things. Uh, I'm collecting again. Yeah, there we go. This is the other downside of big country. Uh, just, I'm just <laughs> just not interacting with anybody. I don't even know what they're doing. I don't even care. Am I even supposed to take this read still? Yeah, yeah. Screw it. I'm taking the read. I'm taking the clay. That's, that's my theory. My theory is that that's going to pay off, but we'll see. We just want a hearth at this point. I, I would prefer a hearth, but the four clay hearth is gone. So like, ugh, I probably just want a fireplace though. Yeah. The fireplace is probably enough, but. But by the way, Gordon, if I'm eating animals, are you sure that I'm let, I'm, I think I'm letting the sheep run, right? I, I get that the sheep, letting the sheep breed is points, but like, am I actually never eating animals here? Like, I have no clue for sure, but. It feels wrong to me to, well, I guess, I guess I just breed the sheep and the cow and I say, I let the boar run. I don't know. I probably let the boar and the cow breed and go for it. Res resource recycler for teal. 
Okay, resource recycler is also fun, but we can try to just let nobody renovate to stone. That would be hilarious, but... Nobody taking reedstone food has kept the stone very low in this game. People not taking reedstone food... Um, that also is really kind of lowering the victory point ceiling, which I approve of. What you said earlier is clearly nonsense. Okay, then good. Then, I, then I'm breeding the boar and the cow. <laughs> I'm going for food. Uh, Reedstone food finally gets taken, by the way, right as I as I talk about it. But uh, yeah, reed pond in distorx nest. I missed that. That's fun too. I have five grade to eat raw and well food. I could take two bottom feeding actions. Uh, okay, that's an interesting argument. I'm sowing grain, and then I sow grain again. I'm so great. I keep sowing each harvest and I can sow again at the end of the game into the into the fields that clear. I actually have a lot of raw grain then you're right. Fodder planter gives a lot of sows. I have a lot of raw crops. And then I might still just clay oven. No, but I'm building the well, so I'm not clay ovening probably. But I, I might fireplace. Maybe. But I don't have to. Interesting. Um okay. Huh, so then maybe it is right to breed the damn sheep. Although, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. But I, I can only ever hold five boar. I should breed the sheep just because I can hold six sheep. I'm I'm trying to end the game with four cows, five pigs. Yeah, I'm trying to end the game with four cows, five pigs, and like six sheep. Yeah, livestock feeder, it's, it is an option still to hold more, but... Uh, purple builds and then gets their uh, grow via stork's nest and has enough food. That's fun. Sowing one grain here could be good and bake one. No, I don't think that's good at all. Livestock feeder does give a grain, yeah. But no, I don't think... I, sowing one grain here is like very wrong because sleeping corner... I, I do want two grain fields in case I want to play sleeping corner at some point during the next stage. Which might happen. It's it's tricky. I really would need to get a stable going. I, I really need a stable. So that's where it like I don't even know how I'm getting stables going though without getting gifted a four wood action. Like mining hammer is very slow here, and it's a problem because building the well cost me my last wood. So then like build well, take wood, take clay, reno maybe works, but yeah, like it's bad. I think I, 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 I probably, I have four wood call. I have five. I need five wood. I need five total wood to build the well. I agree. There's no like I shouldn't get four wood here. I shouldn't even get three wood here. Like, uh, am I discarding the pig? No, I'm discarding the sheep. Wait a sec, right? I'm discarding the sheep. I should just try to end with like four sheep. I, I might need this for food, right? God, I don't know. I have awkward. I have awkward problems. I'm just going to end the game with four sheep, and that's fine. Maybe I end the game with six cows and five pigs and four sheep. I'm probably killing some stuff. Whatever. We'll. I don't know. We'll discard this. Um, I really want to sow my grain, and then is it going to... Okay, it does let me sow three fields, which is wrong, but we'll, I guess we do it, because that's why we picked Fodder Planner. Everybody can f assured me it worked, so. I still have consulted for sheeps. Yeah, that seems sad. Maybe I could hunting trophy for wood discount on Reno. That's fun. The downside is a point. Yeah. Mining hammer is a distraction. I don't think mining hammer is a distraction. The problem is I need stables. So I, I don't think mining hammer is that much of a distraction because stables are crazy important for points for me. Like mining hammer is not a two point card. Mining hammer is like a four point card. I, unless I do do the stupid livestock feeder, but I would, I, four wood is incredible. I would, if I get four wood here, that's amazing. Oh, Oh, it might be happening. Four wood is incredible here. Four wood is super helpful. Yeah, yeah. Getting gifted the four wood action is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Four wood is exactly what I need. Thank you, team. Thank you. Thank you. 
Boom. Thanks, everybody. Uh, yeah, it's probably four wood into the well. Uh, I think it's going to be... Well, God, do I need... The four clay action so tempting, too. Is it possibly four clay into SP Mining Hammer Reno Well? I guess I could lose the well as soon as somebody takes, like, stone or something. It's probably just build the well. The food is not negligible, either. It's just, like, I kind of really need to reno this stage. Although, how much clay pressure is there? Wait a sec. Does anybody want that clay? Ramped clay guy's already done fencing. I guess this might be four clay into a room, but this, this clay action should not be contested. This should not be important. I think I just build the well, and next round... Oh, no, but yeah, I can't... I, next, I really want to renovate the well, don't I? I really do want to renovate the well. I, I Maybe I do take four clay on the wheel and then try to... No, but then I can lose the well. Losing the well is a bad idea. I'm just not going to have a stable again for next stage? God, that seems bad. Yeah, I agree. There's not much clay pressure. I could probably get clay next round. It's just more so that I, I won't have the stupid mining hammer out. The mining hammer is really bad timing here. Like, I think I'm just not breeding animals for another stage again. Yeah, so Ace of Spade, that, or Ace Spade, that's that's the dream. The problem is I can get screwed on the well that with that line. Like, the problem is purple can take two stone and build the well. If I don't, if I don't secure it this round and given how many, like purple has three actions left on this board, two stone is a pretty, is looking like a pretty damn good action this game. Like the, there's so many majors left and there's so much stone that has not been taken. Stone oven is gone. Stone oven's gone. Clay oven and Reno to stone. That's an interesting option. Uh, do I give up the well? Uh, I don't have a grain to eat. I don't have a grain. But maybe, maybe, maybe it is just take clay and play mining hammer. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe that's fine. You think we give up the mining hammer? How are we, oh so if we give up the mining hammer, Gordon? How are we? We just we do livestock feeder. What if I lose the well, Gordon? What if I lose the well? We do livestock feeder to have breeding space. So we're gonna livestock feed our way to extra breeding space, and we're gonna completely ignore stables. No way, I lose the well here. Why is there no way that I lose the well here? I don't... I, I'm in a very different world than the rest of all of you. How am I not losing the well here? I don't understand how I don't lose... Potentially lose the well. Now I don't lose the well. Now I'm... Now I feel good. Purple is going to use... Abuse their uh, blueprints, which makes sense. Purple abusing blueprints makes sense. I, I technically could still lose the well if Teal takes two stone, read stone, food, build well. But... I guess you guys are all right. This is fine. If I lose the well, I lose the well. Renovating's too good to ignore. Clay oven is still fine. Livestock feeder into clay oven is fine. This is fine. Why care about the well? The well is still a lot of point ceiling. I want to make sure I win. <laughs> Taking away point ceiling is part of how you win. <laughs> All the rest of these players, the only way they can beat me is if they find enough point ceiling. One of the ways they can find point ceiling is to renovate to stone and to take the well. Do they actually know that? Not sure, but... <laughs> Uh, by the way, this uh, reed roof renovator is pretty sad. Uh, Teal has all the reed in the world. It doesn't need it. And purple has none of the reed, but needs it. It's great. It's absolutely great. Hey, Major gets blocked. That's good. So I can't breed? I, why, why not well plus livestock feeder? I don't understand why I can't well and livestock feeder. 
I, I feel like the answer is well and livestock feeder. Uh, that's that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that line. The well plus livestock feeder makes me very happy. The stable still is an option. To be fair, the stable is an option instead of livestock feeder. I'm not. I might start player. I might start player mining hammer into Reno still. It's an option. Yeah, like if there's no pressure on renovate. I probably do that. All my opponents are in clay, so maybe it is just play the mining hammer anyhow after all this discussion. Um, it's a pretty good option. Well, Paul, I really don't need to start for growth because of sleeping corner. I still have a sleeping corner as an option at any point, so I don't I don't have to start. Starting's not actually important over here. To be honest, at this point, I kind of think I might just be winning this game anyhow, though. Like, per these guys have no wood. They can't compete. And Teal is the only one that had wood. And... I, it just, Teal's game doesn't look to... I don't see how Teal hits 50, let's say. Seems better than well. If I run out of clay oven, I can run out of stone in Sleeping Corner in 12. Seems better than well. See, I disagree. I could just take two stone and then renovate to like a fireplace. Do we the stone oven is gone? Do we run out of stone even? Why would we not renovate to stone? Oh, gives them a free room? Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's the interesting part of renovating to... Yeah, wait a sec. If I just renovate to the well and I don't build stables... Ugh, yeah, maybe that's... Maybe giving up Mining Hammer is fine. See, maybe it is Livestock Feeder into just renovate to the well and never renovate to stone. I mean, it's sad that I took a read, but... I, I mean, I'm also running out of things to do, though, if I don't renovate to stone and I have a lot of miners worth playing. Ugh, team, I don't know. There's so many good options. Is Teal actually our competition, and does that free room matter? Contest the wood on the board and build four stables. It's tempting. You think we need to stables at least? See, the livestock feeder still is totally an option. The livestock feeder is an option. Is it the right option? I don't know. Livestock feeder has to be bad. Okay, so gray is on team, just stable. So then it is just mining hammer. So fine, it'll just be mining hammer into the well. Let's just do it. In this position, stables are better. Okay. You don't see how I feed without clay oven. I eat raw grain. Or I just clay oven later anyhow. That's true. Mining Hammer is just a food better. Uh, Purple chooses not to start player pottery and to major minor pottery. Oh, because they also get to take a fireplace. That's cute. Does that mean it's already upgraded to a hearth? No, they just... Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, both hearths are gone. That's funny. Okay. Uh, I guess this is just Mining Hammer. I can only breed two animals. What are you talking about? I don't, whatever. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be done with the chat. I have decided we're just mining hammer into run a well. Nobody else can renovate. We'll figure out the rest later. It's fine. It's going to be fine. We also can eat a lot of raw grain this game, honestly. And I might still just clay off it later. If I get blessed with like three stone. Teal does pick up two boars. That's nice for them. The wood pressure begins. Purple has just no wood. Purple purple having no wood just seems like the just death. I mean, we'll see if it's death, but it feels like death. 
Yeah, I, 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 purple has a million actions. Purple is kind of scary, but I'm also making pur purple like the upshot is I've made I've made purple last, and I can make purple last at least once more this game probably. So I think it's gonna be okay, but we'll see. Maybe it won't be okay, but I I agree. I I'm no longer worried about Teal's game. So I just need to beat Purple, but I I think I'm beating Purple because I think Purple just doesn't get wood in time. But I mean, Purple does have a wildlife reserve, so they at least can take every animal type. So that is plus six. They take a veg at, at least takes them to thirty one. They eventually get some fields. Uh, it, maybe we'll see. Purple's a slight threat, but. Um, anyhow, uh, we fodder plant ourselves a grain and a veg this harvest, uh, then if grow flips, we take grow. If grow doesn't flip, we take three stone if it's there. I mean, three stone shouldn't be there, but I'd probably just take two stone if it's there, right? Just take two stone and renovate to sleeping corner. Or I just re-up start player next round. Actually, if growth flips, do I just re-up start player with sleeping corner and keep purple last? It's mildly tempting. I don't really care if teal grows. I honestly don't. I, I, I just don't see how teal and red are threats at all. If Grow doesn't flip, it's definitely a bit of a bummer for me because part of my victory point sailing is getting three Grows. If I don't get three Grows and I only get two Grows, it's a little tighter. It's probably still okay, but it's a little tighter. Red has the Chimney Sweep, so somebody's renovated to stone. But red having that is good. If grow doesn't flip, three stone red oven. Yes, correct. If I somehow get gifted three stone, I might just take it any... No, I can't take it anyhow. I got to make sure I grow. But if grow does not flip, three stone is an easy take. You think teal's game's still okay? Yeah, I'm not going to say teal's game's not okay because the resource recycler definitely helps them out. Uh, they still have another grow, but... And they, but they need plows pretty bad, but I, I guess they'll get them. I don't know if that's enough. I Okay, there we go. Yeah, Gray has the right thing, right? Like, Teal's game is going to be a lot better, but is is, there, is that possibly winning for them? Is Yeah, I don't, it feels like it's, it feels like the answer is no, but uh, Teal is building four stables here. It's fine. Uh, those stables are not in the right spot. You definitely should build stables over here because now you can only ever resource recycler one room, whereas you might have been able to push yourself to six rooms. Uh, so that's unfortunate because purple can easily choose to just build another clay room someday. Yeah, I am breeding all animal types this round. That was part of the part of the plan for sure. Um. It does look like there's going to be three stone unless purple chooses to take two stone here, which purple taking two stone instead of two wood is defensible. Uh, blue, you meant? Oh, gotcha. Are these players pretty low ranked? Yeah, this was a fairly low ranked table. Um, these players are like mid 200s. This player is a 100 rated. Um, so, or no, wait, that was a mistake. This player is 100 rated. These players are like 250s to 300. Um, but yeah, we'll see though. I mean, there's some trouble here for sure. I mean, purple has fifth, 16 actions left. If they actually have two points per action, that's a that's a pretty high scoring game. Do they have two points per action? I feel like the answer is no. But especially if they're so baking here, that's glorious. Oh, they have crazy food problems, don't they? Oh, that's also very good for me. I guess they have hutch food coming in soon, so that'll help. And they do have guilds. But purple's food is absolutely trash here, so that's glorious. 
Yeah, purple has no hearth. Yeah, yeah, okay. Purple, Purple's food is like... Purple's food's kind of killing them also. I missed that. That's very helpful. That's very helpful. Purple's food being absolutely awful is very good. Also, uh, I did get kind of lucky here with all late animals. Late animals is very much better for my collector stuff. But uh, yeah, teal breeding all types here. That that is that was the cool. That's what Gordon was saying. Yeah, stockman breeding all types. Still is gonna resource recycler their way to another room someday. They're gonna get another growth. They're hoping to get three plows. Hoping to get some crops going. I just yeah, I don't know if they have enough else. Uh, we're really hoping for grow here. You've watched enough Agricola on Twitch this season to recognize most of the top players. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's it's both. I don't know. Whatever. However you feel about it. It's, it can be what you'd like. Um, okay. Uh, if Grow flips, do I actually take it? Or do I just re-up start player and make purple stay last? Making purple stay last seems pretty good. Although, God, taking it maybe, maybe, maybe lets me wheel three stone in a crazy world. And three stone is incredible here. Three stone is not better than grow. I have to grow this round. Is two points in action a good benchmark to use in general? Yeah, I mean, broadly. Two points in action is broadly correct. I mean, not for the whole game, to be clear. It's it, Two points in action is kind of a decent endgame approximation. Um, like, you're hoping for two points in action in the endgame. Oops, I'm still doing this backwards. Um, Uh, Grow does not flip, so this is the easiest three stone of my life. Thank you, game. Okay, renovate clay oven looks excellent. Uh, yeah, renovate clay oven's good. Uh, start player sleeping corner grow. Grow in the final round, play major, and we have like one other action this game. Uh, Reno sleeping corner? I don't think so. I want clay oven worse, don't I? I mean, what's the chance I get blocked on Sleeping Corner next round? I think it's much more likely I get blocked on Clay Oven. I mean, I technically could get blocked on Sleeping Corner next round, but it just feels very unlikely. Yeah, there's been no stone injection this game. Like, nobody... Well, oh, wait, that's a slight lie. Chimney Sweep has injected stone, which, by the way, purple can renovate on me. Um, but there is slight... Yeah, there is slight... Uh, it's like that. Purple is getting some three wood actions this round, which is not ideal, but I can't stop it. I just... I am just going to take the clay oven. I think that's correct here. Um, I think this is just clay oven, bake the grain, we'll keep sowing grain in future harvests so we can eat raw grain in the final harvest to survive. Next round is, yeah, just going to be sleeping corner and grow. This feels like one of those tables where I just retain start. I mean... Purple is getting handed resource recycler here, or it's Teal. Teal's going to be at five family members anyhow. So the only way I get blocked next round is Teal's going to have to start. Teal's going to have to be start player. Teal's going to have to open major minor. Red is going to open grow. Purple is going to open start player. And that's the only way I get family 
like blocked on family growth. Whereas I can get blocked on Clamon much easier, I think. So I think this is the correct way to renovate. And I think I get, I, I think it's just, it's so unlikely I get blocked on sleeping corner. Could it happen? Yeah, but I'm going to go with, it's not going to happen. Whether or not that's actually true. We'll see. Uh, but the upshot is I'm at 39 points already. Uh, so sleeping corner and two gross is seven more points. Major is 10 more points. I get another grain point via so is 11. I breed three more points is 14. I'm looking at like a 52, 53. Yeah, that's what Gray is doing the math on right now that I just did. Yeah, exactly. I agree. 53 was right. Yeah, I think I have one more action on top of that, right? Yeah. So it feels like 53 is going to be enough to win this game. Um, I Like, Teal clearly does not have enough ways to get enough points. Purple is the only one that has enough ways to score that many points. But Purple needs a lot of help. Like, they can't plow. They do need to take a lot of wood, but they're getting a decent amount of wood at least. It still looks really hard for Purple to get there, right? I mean, even with 14 actions... They need a lot of wood. They need fences. They need several plows. Purple could still get there, maybe. It's insane with two-room big country how many points ride on family growth in 12 versus 13. Yeah, that part's true. Family growth flipping was... Wow, and Teal is starting. Uh, it is the muckrake, but Teal, you realize you could have grown? I guess they're starting for plow so again, probably, but that's a bit of a shame. Ma with major, it's 54. Okay. Sure. Regardless, I'm in I'm in the I agree. I'm in the fifty-three-ish range. That's roughly what I estimated at. Um But yeah, if Grow flips, I agree, Econ Shot. It's it's like a big difference, right? If Grow flips there, um it's 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 two more actions and three more points or something, right? Like it is. It's a big it's a big difference, which is always the other slight gamble of doing this type of strat, so Yeah, I mean, to be fair, purple purple can get close to averaging two points in action here, though. That's the problem. Like, purple is pretty close to the two points in action average. Um, although they didn't get three more wood, so yeah, that's actually helpful. Thanks, Red. Um, yeah. But, anyhow. Hopefully I can just start player next round. Hopefully nobody's action needs to be start player, and I can just start player sleeping corner to force purple to be last. Um... Forcing purple to be last seems, you know, great. So. Teal grows with a stone tongs. Okay, stone tongs is decent for teal. That helps teal get to a stone house. Still, I mean... Doesn't look like they have enough, but Teal's game is still going to get close to 50. They still have a lot of actions, too. So, Red takes more wood, good. Purple not getting wood is actually just yeah, their biggest issue. No wood for Purple's a problem. Purple's food is still slowing them down, too. I have to keep reminding myself of that. Purple's, purple's feeding is pretty inefficient. It's not awful. The Hutch food is going to help a lot. I guess Purple has BMW and pottery. They'll be okay, but... Yeah, I, I don't think it... I think you're right. I don't think any of it matter. Like, start playing on purple might not actually matter much. I agree. I just need to make sure to get... Uh, I just have to get Sleeping Corner out. But, yeah, Stone Togs is pretty sick here. Uh, this is a good Stone Togs game. Purple's... Teal's gonna plow, so... Yeah, I mean, Teal's still... Teal's gonna get close to 50. Teal's gonna get real close to 50 this game. So... That's that's some. I think I'm winning, but it's 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 a little tighter than I'd like it here at the end. But hey, uh, you know, I, it was an early growth game and late. It's it's early. The, this family growth is early, and this family growth is late, and that is admittedly the exact opposite of what I would actually prefer. So if if I got the exact opposite flips, and I still might be winning. Still probably was a pretty damn good strategy. It is pretty lame given I've only played four cards out of my hand. Oh, I play I played a mini pasture, but I still need five food somehow. Uh 
I have raw grain, Loki. I have a lot of raw grain. Bunch of raw grain. With fodder planter, I get to plant some more. I get to keep planting crops repeatedly. So I get to eat a bunch of this grain. And I have well food. I have two well food coming in. So. I, I really actually need very little food, right? With two well food coming in, about 10 food. I eat five this round. I eat seven next round. I Nothing I'm playing costs food. Yeah, I'm super fed. I'm, I'm, I'm so fed. Yeah, I, I just need two raw grain, exactly. And I, I have two raw grain, so. Uh, do, 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 do. What else am I up to then? Uh, I... Well, yeah, this round, this round is just start player and grow, uh, or major minor and grow, whatever, whatever it has to be. I'd prefer to start player and grow, I guess, because I have one, I have one free action. I'm playing sleeping corner. I'm playing. I'm growing. I'm playing major. I'm growing, and I have one action, and that action is block plow so. Uh, that can't be right. That's zero points to me. I take a one point action somehow. I don't know. Anyhow, we will start player sleeping corner. Feels better to be start than not. Woodfield or trophy. I just take another one point action. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It's there's a lot of one point actions available to me. Yeah. Constable to flex? Um, no. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Teal actually probably hits Constable, so let's go with no. <laughs> let's not give Teal Constable points. Yeah, there are not a bunch of one-point actions, aren't there? Can't I just take a sheep? Like, a sheep is a point. Oh, I can't hold it. No, no, I can't hold it. Yeah, 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 I see. I see, actually, yeah. That is a problem. I can't hold it. Okay, so I am running out of points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very low on points, actually. I'm going to end at six. Yeah, I'm ending at four sheep, five pigs, and six cows. Yeah, I, I, I three sheep is never going to be available. Um, purple is at 40. That's a concern. When did purple hit 40? Just from fencing one space and plowing once? That's a concern. I guess they've knocked out all of their animal types and crops at least. But it's not ideal. I guess I'm glad that I've made purple last still. That can't be bad. It just can't be bad. Teal is at 36 already and has a reno. So that's also not good though. Teal's clearly getting a plow next round. Teal wants a vegetable at some point. Teal's going to not renovate too much, so that's good. Red denied the stone to purple. Yeah, purple's not renovating, at least. Yeah, I agree. I think that's... Yeah, if they have a first pick roof baluster, I'm in trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't remember the draft well enough to know if they have a roof baluster. Um, so yeah, admittedly, that's, that is the, that's, the, that's the biggest concern. Um, but luckily red's not renovating this round, so maybe teal won't renovate this round either, and red purple won't even have a chance. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. You don't think they can have it? I don't think so either. I don't super remember the draft to be confident when some of those happened. Just block plow so now I probably take a point myself. I, I probably still take a point myself next round. But just blocking Plowso might actually... I mean, it might be correct. Um, although I can't block Plowso. That's hilarious, actually. I can't block Plowso. Because uh, I'm going to fodder planner. Any well, I'd have to decline fodder planner. I think I just major minor, yeah. I, I think I do. I think I just open major minor. Um, The only way, Co yeah, Koki, I actually have to decline fodder planner from opening plow. So that's the weird thing, like which I which I'm allowed to do, but I. <laughs> 
Purple's played a seven ox, so no roof baluster. Uh, I think your counting is still bad. One, two. Uh, oh wait, nope. Never mind. You're right. I I I miscounted. Good call. Never mind. Good call. Purple Purple doesn't have a roof baluster. <laughs> purple Purple. That's part of why Purple's so hungry. They can't use their paper maker anymore. Their paper maker feeding ran out, and so now they're now they're down to trash fire feeding. Uh, which is good. I mean, it's not that bad of feeding, I guess. Again, they're eating their pottery and their BMW. Uh, that's They're close to fed. They eat a sheep and they breed the sheep back. And then they have hutch plus B. And they're not eating too many points, but it's also not hyper-efficient. So, and then as Gray and others have pointed out, they also, they're just out of ways to score. Like, they can't take animals. They can't take crops that are two-point actions. So they're left looking at a lot of one-point actions. So they're not my threat. So Teal is the threat. Teal renovates to 43. They plow to 45. They took two wood, so they're going to build a joinery, but joinery is two actions for two points, so that's good. I do not get a point, Loki, because I can fodder planter. You, you can't... Pl Fodder planter is free for me. So, it, like, I'm giving up a point to get a point, meaning Plowso is zero points. I'm not actually netting anything there. I am blocking teal, but... You think purple builds more rooms for two points apiece? Purple building more rooms would be great. Purple building rooms is what I want to see. Because that takes House Steward away. Oh, yeah, I'd go for it. Take House Steward away. That, that I feel like I've won for sure. If how if Teal loses House Steward, I've won for sure. Which goes back to I, I did not like where Teal sets things up. Uh, Teal does have a point hiding also on Muckrake. Teal's hiding a point from Muckrake at the moment. Um, build those rooms. Yes, build the rooms. Perfect. Uh, he just ate his only read for BMW. That's bold. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyhow, I highly, highly approve of the decision to uh, build rooms. The massive undo. Yeah, it's look, he's still doing it. It's good. He's just figured out how to pay because he has too many payment options because he doesn't have to like use. He doesn't have, like, he has so many weird ways he can pay for these rooms. Like, he paid in clay last time, which was weird. Yeah, he just builds two rooms and saves the read. I think that's better. I think that's quite a bit better. But, uh, yeah, Teal, Teal not getting house steward points now. Uh, I think this is, this is clearly my win. So nice when one opponent blows up their game for no reason, hurting the old player who might be able to catch you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think I had it anyhow. The fact that Teal, it's also no, it, that's true. It's not no reason. Purple is trying to get the most points. Purple might get second because of that. So it's actually, it's, this, this is actually very reasonable on Purple's end too. Yeah, 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 exactly. That, that was a correct move from Purple. Uh, so. But anyhow, also Teal's game was really running out of steam. Teal had to take two actions for two points there for joinery. Um, Teal's feeding here is actually costing them too, right? Teal's about to eat one of their breeding pairs. Yeah, it doesn't look like Teal has enough food either. I wasn't paying attention to that, but I don't think Teal made enough food. So, I, I think I'm just clearly ahead, ultimately. But, when they slam Roof Ballister, <laughs> that would be nice. Um, yeah, Teal's eating a cow here and not breeding cows. That's, uh, that's, yeah. Okay, I've won this game. I've, I've won. <laughs> I feel, I feel very comfortable saying I've won now. Um, I don't, I don't, my opponents aren't doing enough good things here to catch me. Um, they're not like that far behind, but growing, major, breeding, sowing, like, I just, I have enough points flowing in. Um, to overtake all of these. So is it exciting winning two room big country? No, 
But uh, hey, if it still works and it's still in the set, we're going to take our easy wins this morning because I've been complaining about not getting easy wins and not drafting the strongest cards. And the luck is slightly going the other way now. We're, we're getting a couple dumb wins and we'll, we'll take them this morning. We'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. This draft was dumb, by the way. Again, I still have a freaking... I still have this Mason. Like, what? Oh, what? Uh, I throw away the boar. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I can have a house boar, right? Sure. There we go. Oh, yeah. I want the boar just because I can play hunting trophy for... Hunting trophy is cooler than Woodfield, right? Right? I don't know. We sow more grain because grain is food. I like food. Uh, and I have max veggies. Yeah, I do. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, no need to grow. Yeah, Rezio can grow. So yeah, we just open major minor. We, if we get blocked on major, that might be a way that we can lose. Growth all will always be around for us. But good old major. Purple can get 53. Oh no. Purple. Does that involve them getting plow so or or what? Purple getting to fifty three is a concern, but that's that's I guess that's good that I keep re upping start then. Purple has a reed stack, a clay stack, a plow so in a dream world, a I don't know. So big three wood, four room build clay. Oh, just keep building more clay rooms. Yeah, actually, that is... <laughs> yeah. Zero building resources at the end of the game. Yeah, it's true. No building resources. We we perfectly used our resources despite being very dubious about them at all times. Teal didn't plow so. Nope, Teal, teal red joinry because, uh, to be fair, red has a chimney sweep. Red could have red owed with an improvement. So Teal decided to renovate with their joinry. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. Block the four reed. Actually, blocking the four reed might be better here, huh? Because, yeah, purple just got the plow so. That's actually a big issue. F blocking four reed almost has to be better here than anything else. I mean, it's a two-point action at the very worst. Like, it's two points for them. So I think they go down to a one-point action instead. It turns out blocking plus... A, they do have brushwood, but they're super limited on their wood. They need so... Like, they also have BMW. Like, four read is a two-point action, and it's four building resources instead of three. Yeah, I think it has to be this. And then I just grow. If only I could grow twice. I'm costing myself a point here. Does Teal have any way to catch me? Teal plows. No, Teal can't catch me. Yeah, I'm going to take the read. How do they have so many two-point actions, Gordon? What are their two-point actions? What two-point actions are you seeing for them that I'm apparently not? Four read. I agree with Gray. Four like four read blocks even more than two points. Purple's purple's winning line was taking wood and taking read and building rooms. Like I've taken their biggest room stack away from them. Clay is a two-point action, Gordon. Sure. So, so, so purple wants clay and plow. Teal should plow, and they do. So, okay, case closed on the plow. Now, to be fair, that's not what well, I was guaranteed. But plow's gone. Purple has four actions. One of those actions was read. They were definitely taking read at some point. So, I blocked two points at the very worst. At best, I had a one-point action for myself. So, blocking, like, I, I cost purple at least a point. Which is good enough for that action. Like, I think that's, I think that was the correct move. 
they still win. That's gross. Hopefully not, but they could. I'm not totally sure how they win. They take three wood, two wood, build a room. Three wood build takes them to 51. They eat a clay. They they build. They day labor. How are they winning? Is two rooms? How is it two rooms? Oh, reedstone food three wood is two rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that takes them to 53. I breed a point to 53. And they have to eat a point in that scenario. Or just not breed a point. Yeah, I I think I've I think I've won, but I, I think that read move actually matters. Uh, teal is awking. I think it's just for food. Ooh, it's organic. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, with organic farmer, their muckrake's not particularly good, but food plus a point, that's fine. Hey, three wood goes. Well, okay, I'm pretty sure now I have it for sure. Uh, three wood, I think, was pretty important for purple's comeback effort here. Um, which is a little sad. Purple had a very cool game. Tudor, Papermaker, Stork's Nest, Clay Supports, fun stuff. But the Stables Arrangements makes even less sense with Organic. I mean, they have Muckrake, so I kind of understand the Muckrake part, but... Oh, wow, did Purple not renovate? Oh, Purple can still renovate last action. Not, or not Purple, Red. I was like, did Red not reno yet? But Red's, Red's reno fence in, yeah. Uh, Red's education bonus is sad. Uh, I guess this is still what? Oops. This was still a food for a grain and a clay. I guess that's not the worst improvement, but it's not a great improvement. You think I'm losing? Oh, no. Purple has a winning line? I don't like that. Purple should have saved his build? Yeah. I don't want to lose. What's Purple's winning line? What? How does Purple do it? Oh, purple can still build two clay rooms. Oh, awkward. Because they can brick layer regular rooms. Uh, they don't have to clay supports them. Awkward. Uh, that still takes them to 53, but they lose a pottery point? I don't think so. Two wood, two wood build? Oh, they have two actions. Uh, uh, yes, yes. No, no, you're right. They can still take two wood and build. I know they have brushwood, I agree. I'm aware that they have brushwood. Uh, two wood, two wood build takes them to 53? Or unless they build three rooms. Wait, they could build three rooms. Or even four? I see. How many clay does their room cost if they use wood for reed? They, they pay three clay for a room, potentially. So they could build, like, three rooms here. Maybe. God, I don't know. Whatever. They'll figure it out. They might beat me. Uh, and if they beat me, congrats. I mean, they played a cool game. And they got a plow, so maybe they weren't supposed to. I don't know. I tried to do what I could. Whatever. How many clay did you do? So then they read stone food and build four rooms? Uh, I don't know if they read stone food, but... How does he feed without wood or reed for his guilds? Uh, he he has sheep. He just eats two sheep. Like he can just eat these two sheep, and he's fed. So, but I I think I still have it here. I'm not sure. I I don't know if he can actually beat me, but it's very close. I lose on tie breaks. Ugh, gross. How do I lose on tie breaks? How am I ever going to lose on tie breaks? He has a pottery. He's actually going to wind up with enough extra clay, you think? Oh, he will wind up with enough extra clay if he just two woods and builds two rooms. Yeah, two wood, build two rooms, 53. I'm also at 53. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I do. I lose by one resource. Yep, agreed. That's gross. That's gross. Oh, well. Oh, well, it happens. Clay support's too strong. No. I don't actually know what's too strong. Getting Plow So is too strong. That's the problem. That's the problem. 
why he wouldn't build four rooms. Because uh, he might lose if he does that. I don't know. He can pay... With clay supports, he can pay no clay for rooms, which is pretty good. And he wants to use the wood for brushwood? I mean, we'll see what he decides to do. The math is build two rooms and win by one, one lousy resource. But... Hopefully he throws. That's the dream. I agree. Hopefully he eats a clay. Hopefully he builds too many rooms. But we'll see. Four rooms is better? Okay. Four rooms is just eight eight points. Yeah, that's true. He could just go to 57. He loses pottery. He builds three rooms. That takes him to 55, but he's losing pottery points. But he still, yeah, he still wins then. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He could hit 54 with three rooms, I think. Yeah, if he pays for him the right way. He can just eat all of his pottery clay, though, and still win, right? If he, if he just built four rooms there, he still just wins. He hits 54 then. Like, yeah. Yeah, he hits 54 and wins. So, good for him. Oh, so remember that easy win I wanted? Still didn't happen. Two room big country, not good enough. Early growth was too much of a problem. And not flipping growth here. And purple getting plow so. But, oh well. Purple did not get uh, purple did not get a uh, hell of a lot of help on uh, purple didn't get much wood this game or like wood for that I mean he got wood for his rooms barely but just enough actions just growing fast the power of the stork's nest was enough here oh well oh yeah purple's hand is dumb I mean th these the draft was dumb again my hand is super awkward because of what i did so it was an easy game to be fair i have a very easy second so i mean whatever you wonder if livestock feeder was necessary i i mean whatever like okay could i have played this game slightly differently i got one or two points maybe i guess it turns out it was maybe a one or two point game but there's so many ways that purple's game could have been slightly better or different too um purple got plow so there should purple have got plow so what did red take that wasn't plow so? Why like why did red not plow so? I guess red already had five fields, but you know, I mean, whatever. There's games hinge on such little things sometimes. Uh yeah, I just discard these guys because I don't need them. Grain. Oh well, we hit fifty three. Red had to sew bake to feed. Gotcha. Okay, that's what Red did. It's fine. It's all good. I tried to start, tried to stop it. They had a cool hand. They did cool stuff. Tudor paper maker too strong. Oh well. Do 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 do. Losing our elo again though. Not much in the main league, at least. But my regular Elo, I I do I do keep <laughs> losing nine points for this game. Like, come on, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Uh, again, maybe there was a way to score. Oof, I was this stream felt longer, but forty three minutes, forty three minutes. Ugh. Ah, they're new. Whatever, it's it's they're very new. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, 44 people compared to 29. Turns out to be a slight issue, huh? Turns out to be a slight issue. Oh, well. Not having this chimney sweep is rough. Yeah, it turns out I also should just have the chimney sweep, I guess. You're right. I I did get trapped by picking the wrong cards there, so... I could have drafted slightly differently also. That's true. Chimney sweep definitely would have been good for what we were up to.
Also, again, we flipped literally the worst round order for growths. So, I mean, it happens. Turns out Furniture Maker first pick was dumb also. Shit, you're right. I should just first pick Chimney Sweep with Big Country and just say, hey, going for the dumb furniture thing and claiming to not... I, I mean, I was saying I didn't want to just do a lame two-room Big Country, and then I did just do a lame two-room Big Country, and Chimney Sweep is a great lame two-room Big Country card. Renovating a stone is free. And I would have got one or two extra points for it. Uh, that's 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 way better than having a card that does nothing. Uh, admittedly, I passed the furniture maker to a patron, so that's annoying, but it happens. But yeah, I would just have a better card here. So I should just take the dumb chimney sweep with big country and accept that two room big country is just what this meta is. Three room big country, four room big country can work, but it's lame. I mean, getting the sleeping corner is still such a big boon here, but. Yeah, Papermaker's not going to wheel very often either. It, 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 it kind of occasionally, but it's hard to know, so. Gosh, nobody even played Potter Ceramics, right? That's wild. All right. Well, whatever. Whatever. It happens. Winning is hard. Again, it's not like I also didn't have the worst seeding position again. Hypothetically, I'm sitting after the strong player. Um, not that I, I... I wasn't paying enough attention to the game to really know, I guess, if they got gifted too many absurd actions there, but... They were sitting after the player that scored 38, and in the draft, they certainly, like, I don't know what some people were drafting, but it clearly was super wrong. He first picks clay supports. Clay supports is an obviously good pick. Yeah, bricklayer clay supports. I mean, that is that is a strong opening pack. Almost picks it wrong, but yeah, it takes the bricklayer clay supports. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's nice. Take the brushwood. Sure. Take the stork's nest. Maybe. Not sure that's what I'd do, but whatever. Tudor. Not sure I'd take blueprints here, but I guess it worked. Eh, whatever. Blueprints is defensible enough. And then, yeah, paper maker is sweet here. You want to play a ton of ox, you get all the food. He takes Hutch. Hutch is a nice card. Potter Ceramics is a dumb card, but. Potter ceramics with brick layer too. Save save some of the clay. We we barely need clay. I would take potter ceramics there too. So yeah, I mean he also he also had a pretty pretty great hand, pretty great options here. Yeah, it gets the house steward back. House steward with this hand is dreamy. He does take wildlife reserve, which I also don't like. I'm not sure I would take Wildlife Reserve. Oh, well, I mean, it worked, though. He was able to hold animals on a small fencing arrangement. So, whatever. That's a nasty hand. Yeah. Uh, another? Probably not. Like, I half want to play another, but then I also, like, kind of remind myself that sometimes I feel like I'm just grinding too much for Arena. Like, I'm having enough fun, but also, am I? I'm playing games, like, that game was pretty boring, and even if I was really playing, it's just hard playing with people that I basically can't predict, and the games play out very strangely. Like, it doesn't always feel that great, but do an econ stream. Do it for Aaron Rodgers. I'm not doing it for Aaron Rodgers. Um, and, yeah, econ Sean is crazy. Yeah, he does four in a row, but I don't think I can do four in a row. It's probably going to be enough for me. I might just play a game off stream later, but. <laughs> Terra Mystica? Terra Mystica is even longer. I don't have time for Terra Mystica right now either. I'm probably just going to take my turn and some eight. Whoops, I don't want to click that button, but. Oh, uh, okay. It's taking me to the game I want, anyhow. Um.
But um, yeah. Anyhow, I should head off. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys, for hanging out and chatting. It's been fun. It was good times. Um, we'll hopefully get a few more Agricola games in soon. I might try to actually just get some games with strong players instead of Arena, because as much as I do kind of want to contest Arena, because it's fun, because there's a competitive leaderboard, <laughs> Arena really does get annoying uh, with seeding position mattering and, like, just lucky. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. So, anyhow. <laughs> you're down for that at some point yeah I, that's what i mean like i i i think i want to try to get a couple more games with just strong players going uh i think it's way more it's a lot more interesting at times uh some of these arena games do get me a little wild uh with just the with the kind of random unpredictable this player is not actually playing the game like my last one i mean i'm happy to won that last game but um Certainly, certainly that last game just had one player that, you know, just wasn't doing anything remotely correct. So, all right. Anyhow. Yeah. Thanks all for hanging out. Um, I don't expect anything else the rest of the day. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I might stream also uh, sometime after work. So that'd be good. Uh, my next Fire 2 Open game is on Wednesday. So that'll be good times. Uh, next Saturday, I'm broadcasting Fire 2 Open. So that'll be good, too. Uh, yeah, double game stream. It was good times. It was good times. At some point, could be now. Yeah, it could, but it's it shouldn't. It shouldn't. I should go do other things. So, all right. Thanks, all. Uh, yeah, I'll head off. See you around other things later this week and whatever. Bye.